Hello Zebra Herd, in just a few days, Mario teams up with the Rabbids once again in the exciting new sequel, Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. And to prepare for such an exciting game, we are looking back at every single boss fight in the original Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Let's get started. But whoa, hey, it's Luigi, I was right. <laughs> I called the foreshadowing. He's shaking, he's scared, he ain't even in his mansion and he's scared. Oh, it's that thing. It's the, the super thing. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. They're equally as scared. Oh, watch out, Luigi. Watch out, other rabid thing. Oh no. In Breathman, maybe? Oh, he is not happy. <laughs> Except for the rabbit on top, and the rabbit is having a good time. He's having a little bit of a rodeo. Oh no, he's gonna combine him, isn't he? into a rabid piranha plant. Is this gonna be our first boss fight? <laughs> hey, look at that! Oh, piranha plant, noxious fireweed. Interesting. Defeat mid-boss. So it is a boss, it's a mid-boss, but it is a boss. So I could pull out easy mode here, and I'm not gonna though. You guys can let me know. Would you freak out if I ended up uh, pulling out, oh, and there's enemies to fight too. If I ended up, uh, what's it called? Um, pulling out easy mode, would you guys be mad at me? I don't know, I think I'll definitely right now. Oh, and there's one up here, and my best bet then is definitely to attack you and get you out of here. Now that didn't defeat you, which is actually a bit of a bummer. Um, then there's another one up here, and then what is my best bet then? Maybe to, I mean, that would just sort of be unnecessary. Hmm. Oh, just, just run away, <laughs> run back from the entrance. I don't know, I think our best bet then is to skip to Yoon and try to, wait, no, try to attack Yoon with this thing. Leave you down, that's not the button I meant to press. But I do get a 100% chance of hitting you from here, really? That's really weird. Boom, okay, well then Mario can help finish you off by switching to Mario. Um, okay, I'm doing all kinds of weird mistakes here. I just wanna hit this. That way it can probably finish you off. It does, I think. Yes, it does. So now Mario can move, which is great for him. Um, I'm proud of him, moving around and such. But does he really want to move? I don't think so. We will use his special ability, and then maybe we'll end the turn with that. Let's take a look at the rest of our characters. They can move, but they can't attack. So, the thing is that I might want to activate Rabbit Luigi's special ability because he is sort of in a precarious position. And end it with that. Enemies are gonna go, so let's see what this guy's com uh, uh, capable of. He has 300 health, and I think what we're, ouch! Oh gosh, he has a height advantage. I don't like this. And then the other rabbits are gonna be able to attack that box, I don't like it, and he can attack multiple times a turn. No, Mario, gonna put a stop to it, sort of. So he has a height advantage that he's using quite a lot. I don't like it, it makes me uncomfortable. But he can attack multiple times, it's just he attacked and then he moved. Um, and now he's gonna attack that, and it's gonna, poor rabid Peach, she is not having a good time right now. So fire can spread, it can spread! Oh look at that, the triple spread! So it can spread to your own, or you can spread to your own teammates, it can spread to an enemy, to a teammate, to a teammate. Crazy stuff happening there, but everybody is beating up on poor, poor rabid Peach. Okay, so he's running off that way. Maybe we should not even focus on these rabbits and instead focus full on on the mid boss. That might be what we have to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and, I don't know, do what I can really. What can I do, you know? Weird situations for sure. Cause I could go ahead and attack you guys, you know, maybe relieve some anger and you know, bad situations. I just don't know if it would actually be good. Hmm. Well, maybe I could just sit here, sit tight, and then attack you straight on. Bada bing, bada boom. So now, maybe with Rabid Peach, I could get her to bounce up here, but once again, I wish it was like a double bounce technique we could maybe learn, that'd be good. Maybe I just need to get you up here where it's safe, and then you'll have the high ground, which can be beneficial, even if I have to take care of this guy to you know, secure it. Because then I can uh, attack him from the high ground, I should do extra damage, right? That's good. And then let's do uh, weapon damage reduction 
just in case he does come up here and make things unfun for me. And then we have Rabbit Luigi, who, he's a little too far off to really attack any of those guys, so I think, can he uh, attack this? Okay, I'm out of the target site. So what I should do then is hide here. Nope, here. And then, I'm still out of the site, really? That's baloney. That is total baloney. I don't like that. Okay, so let's see what this jerk's gonna do. He's just gonna find another angle to attack people. But he is gonna attack the damage-reduced um, Peach here, and Rabbit Peach, but still a lot of damage. It's, it adds a lot of unpredictability when they can do that fire damage. That is really hard to handle. I wish our special effect would go off more. Rabbit Luigi really hasn't had too much of a chance to use his fire damage. Oh, this game has gotten really tough really quick. But is that a bad thing? Not at all. So I think I wanna just get you here. And then I just want you to attack him. Head on, ready, boom. So that did some damage. Once again, he has 300 health. We're gonna have to do more than that. Um, I can bounce off of you, try to get myself into a decent position. Cause there's rabbits there and there's rabbits here. What can I really do? I could either take the, the onslaught from him or the rabbits. Honestly, I think we would take less damage from him alone than both of the rabbits combined. So we'll do some extra 20 damage, bounce exactly to here. Very, very uh, necessary. Um, No, 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 go back here and use your attack to attack you, get you down to less than 200 health, which is great. Hmm. And what can I do with you? Not too much from here, but you are so low on health, I think I just wanna keep you nice and protected, which might not be good from this angle. Um, let's hit you. Bada bing, bada boom. I keep saying that, but it just, it feels right. When they aim up, that's what it just, the sound effect that goes on in my head. 121 health now for these two. Oh gosh, is he doing like a, oh no. So he has like crazy special moves and everything. <laughs> Stop, drop, and rolling. At least they're, you know, teaching the kids who were playing. Proper fire safety technique, stop, drop, and roll, but that destroyed a bunch of berries that are gonna leave Rabbit Luigi very, very open. I don't like it. But he's hiding by the fire now, but now we're good to go. Ooh, come on, if I could get to a good position here, this could be great. So where does this lead? This leads up here. So if I, if I take this one, I'm not in really better position than I was before, but I can, wait, if I go here, I cannot attack him. If I was here, I could attack him, correct? It's hard, it doesn't really show me. Um, Cause it says that I can. So you know what, maybe we should just, if I hide here, it's the same situation then? Hide and then shoot, ready, boom. Nice, it actually did land at 30 damage and burning. So he's just running around like a little lunatic. Hmm. I think I'll, well, first I'll pick up that coin. Pick up that coin. And then I'll sit here and try to just land the shot. It'll just get you down to hopefully 91 health. 31 damage is really good. And then Rabbit Luigi, buddy, I need you to get to a safer spot. So if you could get up here, that'd be great. The problem is then you won't be able to hit these guys. So maybe first, I just need you to go ahead and rid yourself. Well, I can actually hit you from here. Mmm, tempting. But what's even more tempting but I can't do that from here. So I might as well just hit you and leave. Ready, boom, this might even activate. Yes, it did, which means you're gonna get activated. We should, will it explode that fire? It will not, but hey, that was still great. So now he can move, and I'm just gonna actually put him in a defensive position just like I did Rabid Peach, because once again, they are both very vulnerable right now, have very little health, so hopefully they just leave us alone. And just make you immune to whatever we can make you immune to. I think that's all the moves we have right now, so should you automatically put it to the enemies? And you have 24 health, what can you do? Hopefully something will go awfully wrong. But you're going to attack, no, don't do it. Ah, oh, we were just about to finish him off too. It's always on the last second right before we're about to get a perfect. Oh, that is awful. I'm so unhappy with that. Leave that Luigi alone. Okay, thank you. I'm so mad now. I'm an angry zebra. Oh. Well, we'll do what we can with all of this. You're gonna aim and shoot again, but there's no way you're doing 90 damage. Yeah, I thought so. Hero's turn. I'm gonna get you to, if you were to attack right now, could you attack you? Yeah, 
Let's see if you can't finish him off. Boom, you can. So the boss is defeated. Do we have to defeat these two bozos or are we done? Um, We are done, yay, we did it. We defeated the evil thingamajig. She's not pleased. She's never pleased. Um, What are you doing? No, it's still alive. Too early to be taking the selfie, watch out. <laughs> Never do it for the likes, or this might happen. Oh no, 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 that's a bit, that looks like a bit of a headache. <laughs> the slow motion impact is the best. There's always time for another selfie though. Ooh, nice. So we've defeated our first boss in all technicality, even if it is just a mid boss, and it turns him back into a regular rabbit and a regular piranha. <laughs> oh, group photo. Luigi, how you doing? You, you could have helped, you know, you could have helped. Uh-oh, there's some competition happening. <laughs> well, I guess they're very similar. Aha, so you're the other half of this fable duo, Mario and, and Louis? Lyle? Lurlin? <laughs> er, well, all the same, welcome. <laughs> Doesn't know Luigi's name. Poor Luigi, so we did good, we didn't do perfect. I'm bummed, but we at least cleared the battle. Full health, awesome, awesome stuff. Done a mid boss, but now we are in World 1 9, top banana. And there's that little dude again. Oh gosh, I don't like this. I, I feel really nervous. Hey, look, it's, wait, so if we don't have Rabbit Luigi in our party, does he not show up in the cutscenes? Cause that's actually interesting now that I think about it. There might be a change of cutscenes. Oh, it's Bowser Jr. Hey buddy. Not so much buddy, but. Don't take the rabbit. I know what you're gonna try to do here. Hey, stay away from him! I see what's going on here. and You wanna use that little fellow's special talents for yourself! Oh no. Is he gonna do the whole thing where he makes this himself look like the good guy? Well, I saw him first. He and all of his special talents are mine! Or maybe not. He's sort of still acting like a jerk. Uh, it's scary, I know. He's sort of creepy looking. I think I'll call you... Spawny! You wanna help me teach these wimps a lesson, Spawny? Uh, ha, my papa's gonna be so impressed when he gets back from vacation. He's on vacation? Well, this is a perfect time for him to be on vacation. Uh, well, goodbye. I guess the rabbit likes the bad guys. And you, Mario, you must be exhausted after all those battles. Take this, it'll give you some much needed energy and potassium. Before I go, Spawny and I would like to introduce you to a new friend of ours. He's the top banana around here. Oh my gosh. The banana, yay! <laughs> she loves it, but there's somebody else who loves it too, doesn't they? Um. Whoa! I wasn't expecting that. Rabbit Kong goes bananas. Oh, okay, yeah, he's in the trailer. So they combined a rabbit with Donkey Kong. I thought it was just gonna be Donkey Kong, but no, it's Rabbit Kong. Oh no. Oh no. Hi, Rabbit Kong. Oh geez, he is not being very nice right now. Defeat boss. So this is gonna be a bit scary, but now we know, of course, from the mid boss that we don't have to defeat any enemy that might pop up. We just need to defeat the boss. So if we could all on focus on tackling him, maybe it would work out. Maybe we'd get our butts beat in our first turn. It looks like, oh no! So immediately 10 damage. That's not fair. I had to pick up all those coins soon. Um, this isn't fun. So no, those guys spawn right away. That's not fun at all. Okay, pick up some coins first of all. Maybe I should have, uh, well they didn't actually give me the chance to uh, check out my tactic cam or anything. They just sort of throw you in this battle. So even if I had the coins to upgrade, I didn't upgrade because I didn't think about it because I'm dumb. Um, How do I want to do this then? Maybe I could slide attack you and bounce and then Bounce, oh I can't I can't do that? I can't slide attack and bounce somebody like that? Then I can bounce off of you, sure. And then I can hide here. Okay, that's quite the move right there. I like that, good on you, Mario. So there's platforms on the left and on the far right that don't seem to accomplish too much to be all the way out there. And I wouldn't think. All right, let's try to hit you, see if I can. Boom, I couldn't, gosh darn. Okay, so I'll activate that, that might be helpful. And then Luigi now. You could do something similar. I could have you slide attack, bounce off of Yoon, bounce off of Yoon, land you, because this, this one's gonna be guaranteed extra safe. So hopefully this might even finish off this rabbit. 20 damage, was that enough? 
Yes, it was, awesome. And then who can we attack here? I could attack you, and if I do land this, this will take you out entirely. Oh, I got it. Oh, well, I tried. So let's go ahead and get that ready. And then we have you over here, and we don't want to use your heal just yet. But I could do that. Run back here again. Um, And where can I, I could get you over here, because this looks like it could be extra safe. That looks like, yeah, it could be good. Okay, we're fighting some good combos in this environment, though, I like it. Here, bounce you over there. And then attack you for the guaranteed takedown, I think. Just 100%, right? I think so. Well, there you go, we've already taken care of two enemies. We actually made some good moves there, strategically. Okay. Um, And then I could do the shield. I don't think it's worth doing. Instead, we should just go to the enemy turn. Um, wrong thing. There you go. Let's see what we what they can get accomplished. Maybe something, maybe not. Oh, nice critical, so that guy is stuck, and then Luigi might just finish him off. Wow, that was really good. I'm glad we got those two activated. The only thing that's unfortunate is um, we could have maybe used that on other, like the, the boss himself. Hmm. Is this gonna be in the range of the boss? I don't think it will, so maybe we should just do this to prepare and get Luigi nice and ready so he can bounce off the multiple targets. Because right here you can see out of the target's range. So, here this is also out of the target's range, but we could maybe get him here. Maybe, maybe it would be better here though. That way Luigi could do a double bound to get himself into a good position as well. Let's get you here, can you, you can hit him. Oh, and he doesn't have too much health, 120? That can't be it. That definitely can't be it. Oh, he's mad. <laughs> oh, he can eat the bananas though and heal himself up some more. But if we walk on that, how much you wanna bet if we land on that button, it'll get rid of the bananas. Oh my. Well, maybe we could do just that. If I could do a double bounce, would that land me on this button? What is this button exactly? Boom. Boom. Oh my. Goodbye, bananas. That's exactly what we were supposed to do. Okay, so he's so upset too. Um, He doesn't have a ton of health. I still can't hit you from this range. I could hit you from here and... Which is gonna do more damage? 35 to 45, 40, this is gonna do guaranteed more damage. It might hurt me in the process. Um, It can't get across. Wait, why can't it get across the little grade? Oh no, I didn't think about that. Oh well, that's not good. Will he jump across, what will he do? Okay, so we're bouncing everywhere. That is so bad. More rabbits are gonna spawn in here in a second, I think. Okay, so this thing is still there and it won't do anything, but there actually are no enemies. We did a great job eliminating those enemies right away. So that put us in a good position. But what can I really do now? I think as a rabbit peach here, I wanna bounce, then I'm gonna land here. And I think we just need to wallop him as much as possible. However we can. So right now we got 100% chance of a shot, so let's land that. Boom. And that's gonna knock you down 30 health. So really, we did mess up. We should have just hit him normally as Luigi there, and we didn't. Um, maybe I should do Mario first. Where should I get Mario? Mario should probably go like, oh, I can't get him over there. Then I'll get him here. Um, Cause I don't think the distance really matters as long as he can reach, and he can. So that's gonna hurt. Critical, too, and he's immune to the, you know, stuff that we want him to get hit by, but in the meantime, let's get Luigi to hide. I don't know where it would be best for Luigi, maybe just behind this block. And then let's just snipe you. You were so low to be taken out. If I didn't make that mistake earlier, if I just shot him normally, we would have just beat the boss right there in the first like five, 10 minutes of the video. That would have been crazy. Where is he going? Over here, where he's probably gonna have more bananas, I presume, and he can fill himself up up to full. Oh no, please don't fill up all the way. Let's see. I'll punch one of 20. So yes, he got filled up all the way to full. Yeesh. But now I know what to do, and it's not to ever bother with that thing. Um. Oh, so that didn't, hmm. Okay, let me heal who I can. So that didn't end our turn. And now there's more enemies getting ready. He's gonna smash like that. Oh, geez. No, they got knocked out of bounds, so I, I actually chose an awful time to heal. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. And can they move this time? They can't. But this thing is gonna start moving closer to these bozos, which is great. I've been using that word a lot recently. Uh, let's just you know deal with what we can. Pick up a ton of coins. This is a great way to earn up coins at the least. Um, that's a small benefit for the you know work we're going through, though. So how can I do this? 
I need to once again get over there. Hmm. Because they always spawn new enemies in once he jumps to a new platform. So when it comes to all this, I mean, it seems like it, it's gonna be good to activate this now. Yes. yes. Uh, I'll get, I'll try to get um, Rapid Peach just as close as we can to the action. And why I wanna do that is so I can hit that guy over here, 100% chance, 100% chance, but more importantly, I can get Mario to maybe just, well, can Luigi, here, where's Luigi at? Luigi can't reach her from here, which sort of stinks. That was a bad idea, but uh, it's okay. Because once again, next round. Oh, but I can't even, mm. Mm, okay. Then what can I do here, really? I should probably get Mario over here as well, just like that. And then maybe, I don't know, we have a few options. First off, attack him. And then I wanna focus on the one that's farther away now. And why I wanna do that is because hopefully this bomb will take care of that one on the right. So let's go ahead and get you. And then we're gonna get Luigi. Yeah, Luigi's gonna go ahead and move here and bounce off of you and, and get here. Cause that's gonna get him closer never, than ever to the button and that's what we really need for next turn. But this is a cool boss to start with, I gotta say. And I could actually pull out another one right now. Hmm, interesting. This wouldn't hurt me either, so. Go for it, boom, bam, 49 damage. We'll get the shield out just in case we need it. Okay, so you're gonna slam, right? Maybe, but first off, Luigi's gonna shoot you in the face. See ya. <laughs> that was pretty crazy, just bouncing around. And then you, oh, you're not gonna go where I thought you were gonna go. Okay, this thing has been out, that little drone has been out for the longest time. Okay. So now, oh, but he pressed, look at him. Look at that, he pressed the button. That was so awesome. Good on you, he's so mad though. You mad, dude? So what, what is my best bet then? Hmm, can I bounce off of this? That would be so cool if I could. Um, I think that Mario needs to bounce off of you and go, here, sure. Well, I mean, I guess. Yeah, hard to tell. Well, maybe right here then. That seems like it could be good. Cause I could do this, Roch. Boom, bounce over, bounce over here. And then get this ready so that if that rabbit tries to pull anything, it'll hopefully just take him out. But in the meantime, let's try to attack you in full blast, boom. So that thing can press the button, which is an interesting strategy. Uh, And then, Rabbit Peach here, and we can make him make her bounce and then land here. And, yep, yep. And then she can just attack him. And could Luigi here, and could he bounce onto where he is? Can he bounce over here? Doesn't look like he could. All right, well, it was worth a shot. The thing is, is, is he gonna go and get his bananas this turn or next turn? Cause that's, that's not a good situation cause we're not gonna be able to defeat him fast enough unless we get like a lucky critical shot or something. All right, enemy's turn. That's gonna hurt. And will he get his bananas this turn? He won't, I don't think. Oh, that hurt, that really hurt. Mario's gonna return the favor, bada boom. It didn't take him out though, crazy stuff. But we can beat him right here. I wish I would actually defeat him, that stinks. Um. Get all these, once again, tons of coins to get here. But now I know what to do. It's very clear to me what I'm supposed to do here. Um, maybe we could get you to do this, and that should maybe even take care of this rabbit. Yep, there you go, he's down. And then let's just blast you. Uh, just like that, and that might defeat him, let's see. Boom, he is taken down. Unless that's just his first phase, and I am getting way too into this. I think that might just be his first phase. Oh no. If that's his first phase, we're in a lot more trouble than I thought. But he's he's zero health. But he's zero health. He has more than one phase. I didn't realize. Oh no. Why didn't I think about that? 
He has more than one phase. Oh boy. Right? I'm so confused. Like how much health do you have? You have 120 health again, but we knocked you down to zero, and it's still our turn. Hmm. Weird. I really don't know how to feel about that. Mario, you're low on health, dude. There's not too much I can really do about it. I guess my best bet right now is to get you here and, and then just targets out of range. Get Luigi to get something done here. Because we can have you super bounce off of Mario and then land like here. And then you can definitely hit the uh, Donkey Kong rabbit from here, Rabbit Kong or whatever. Just like that. The thing is, is once again, he's gonna heal up. Yeah, he's just gonna heal up. Oh man, that stinks. Oh, I didn't mean to pause. <laughs> that really stinks. So we're just done. Um, enemy turn. More rabbits are starting Papa, which means he's gonna slam a lamb. Oh man, this is really difficult now. Cause now I'm just sort of confused how many times we have to defeat him. He ain't got no more bananas after this, right? I would hope not. I hope it just doesn't go back to another platform. Um, but now we have the Smasher, and that's not gonna be fun. That's gonna be the worst thing ever. Um, my best bet then would be to get Rabid Peach to first off heal, heal for whatever she can for both characters. It's gonna be like what plus something, plus forty-four plus one. That's pretty good. So now I'm gonna have her bounce off of Luigi to get over here. And hopefully, this will be enough so that Mario, it might not be, now that I'm looking at it, and that's gonna be really bad, because I was gonna have Mario bounce off of you, and it's not gonna be enough, no! The bounce off of, you know, the smasher, and then land on that button. So the best bet we have right now is to get you to hide here. Then, and only then, we can get Luigi to maybe, just maybe, bounce off of you, off of you, and land just barely on the button. Okay. And that's gonna get rid of your bananas, you punk. And then he only has one place to go, right? And that's the, the beginning platform, which doesn't have a button, I hope. So as you can see, Luigi has a couple choices here. I think his best is just gonna be to shoot him right in the face. It seems like the special move will never actually hit um, him, the Donkey Kong. But hey, maybe it will. And I'm guessing that, you know, this guy's gonna I don't know, maybe that was a bad choice, but I, we're doing that, and then we have a couple choices here. I think I'm gonna attack him. It might seem silly, but then while he's walking away, Luigi can peck at him, just like that, and hope this is a good idea in some way. No, it's a bad idea. This way, Luigi's gonna die. Yeah, come on. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You can't eat him, you can't eat, he's not a banana. He is not a, Oh no, Luigi's out. Yup, we are two, two person group right now. Oh, it's about to become a three person group, isn't it? All right, one person group. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, how low is this stinking monkey? 50 health. Then, I'm gonna bounce, actually, first off, no, I can't do that. I always wanna, you know, slide attack him and then bounce him, bounce off him, but it, you can't do it like that. But instead, I can do this, and like, well, it wouldn't be that good of an idea, the problem is, because I wouldn't be able to get too much farther after that, so it's better just to do that, hide over here, just attack him directly, and then attack Yoon, and then I hope this is enough, I hope this finishes him off, but I wanna guess no, because this, this game doesn't always like me, does it? Um. I guess we'll slide attack you and put you here and hopefully the Smasher attacks us instead of Mario, or the or Rabid Peach instead of Mario. Let's do that just in case. Because Rabid Peach can take it right now. Oh, will that do it? Okay, we won! Oh my gosh. Hopefully? I don't know, it's making this intense music, but he doesn't seem beaten. He's going somewhere. He's mad. But maybe we can knock him off the tower, huh? <laughs> that was not a good idea, now was it? Oh, oh, do it. No, do it, do it, what do you mean stop? 
<laughs> you can never tell a rabbit no. <laughs> why would you why would you not want to do that? Bye bye! <laughs> and the selfie. Perfect timing. <laughs> How'd you get the close up? <gasps> what? Which one's good? You gotta you gotta upload some of them, right? <laughs> oh, he doesn't want to share. That's so mean. Oh, but he's still peeking. <laughs> Luigi's so silly. That tip of a whip, uh, the the tip of the whip that tames a beast is the very face of Aphrodite herself. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it mu it is clear that we must rescue Spawny from the clutches of Bowser Jr. Before he can destroy what's left of the Mushroom Kingdom forever. That would be bad. I say we adjourn to Princess Peach's castle for a series of breakout sessions. Oh. During which we shall workshop solutions in a safe, open environment. In other words, let's get moving. Okay. Mario's good at that part. So not a perfect, but a good. Never get a perfect. Never ever. Let's get started with 2-5, uh, the Gate Crashers. Oh my. Toadette seems excited. Oh, he fits in the Ice Cube tray block. Okay. And that opens to the door to hit. Hi, Bowser Jr. Hi. Huh? Um. Oh yeah, he's still scared of us, isn't he? No, we're not bad guys. Oh, poor little guy. He doesn't know he's so confused. He's so innocent. Oh no. Oh no, what is he doing? Oh, well then, he did that. Whoa, okay, so it's like a desert and ice rabbit. It is, the Blizzy and Sandy Hot and Cold Creep. So this one's actually not Mario related. I thought all the bosses maybe would be Mario related because the first one was of course, um, what's it called, the uh, Piranha Plant. The second one was Donkey Kong. Now this one's just not, that's sort of a shame. I would like it if all of them were Mario related, like if we could, Run into like a Wario and Waluigi one, maybe something like that, a Birdo one, that'd be funny. So what are we looking at here? No Toad this time, so that's a relief. But we do have our two bosses here. Um, our boss right here, this is Blizzy, has 210 health, nine cells of movement, 65 damage of Villain Sight, and then Precision, 65 damage. Uh, And then this is just a Ziggy. Over here we have a much meatier, 420 health. He has global damage reduction, wow. And, um. 65 damage for his gra granite duck or grenade duck. All right then, I think we're ready for battle now that I know a little bit about them. And a lot of, you know, I've been, I just released episode three as of recording this, and I got a lot of uh, really good comments, and I wanna talk about them a little bit in today's episode, of course. First off, a lot of you didn't see the mind that we went ahead and re, like, finished up World 1 in episode three and, like, got all the stuff we didn't perfect uh, down. down. Um, again, I'm, like, not wording things properly today. Uh, so we can't shoot either of these guys, but I do have a hundred percent shot at oh no I have a hundred percent shot at you. Oh, no, I'm doing this wrong. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm doing the wrong thing right now um 50% chance at you Hmm cuz I do need to take these guys down But maybe it'd be better if right now I just went ahead and did this I mean maybe Mario should have power boosted everybody. Oh geez I haven't played in a day or two, so I might be a little out of it. I could set this up, that might be good, because we are not we don't see any smashers as of right now, so it might be good just to prepare for whatever we can. Uh, we'll get that. And then can Mario shoot at anybody from here? Zero, zero, yeah, just these two, and it's with zero percent. Well, we might as well try to get rid of the barrier then. Let's see how an ice barrier holds up to our blast. Not very well at all. Ooh, I wish I knew that sooner, because, um, Rapid Peach here can't even shoot anybody. All right then, well I guess that's our turn. But yeah, so we'll do that probably with World 2 as well if we don't perfect everything, which so far we've only messed up one level. After we defeat the final boss of World 2, we'll go back and perfect everything. Some people are saying we should do the challenges before, oh here we go Luigi. There are of course challenges in World 1 and in every world that we haven't done yet, some people said that we shouldn't wait till the end of the game to do them because they do give you rewards for doing them that you're wanna gonna you're gonna wanna get, wanna get because if you get them after you beat the game it would be sort of pointless. And I agree with that, so 
So hopefully we can do that soon. I might wait a little bit just because, you know, I don't want to be doing a bunch of World 1 stuff at once. You spend the first 15 episodes of the game in World 1. That'd be a little boring. So maybe I'll complete a couple worlds and we'll go back and do challenges. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we'll get all the way up until the final world. And right before we tackle the final world, we'll do some challenges. I'm not really sure. And we'll do it some way or another. Okay, so Luigi's frozen. I had him sort of hidden back here because a lot of people have been saying also keep Luigi back because he's a sniper. I knew that, but he's still taking quite the beating. So, oh no, come on. This thing is getting beat up way too much. I think it's, yep, it just exploded. That's the worst. So first thing I need to do, probably, I mean, I could just attack you and probably take you out. Um, I can side attack two people here. So maybe I should do that and then try to hide somewhere a bit safer. I mean, it's not really any more different than what I got, but uh, let's do it. Boom, boom, and that should get rid of your shield, which is great. And then I could just shoot you head on, or maybe I should move Luigi first, because Luigi here is frozen, which means he can't use any of his special moves, but he can do other things, so interesting turn of events in that line. But I think I'm gonna have Luigi just hide maybe next to Rabbit Peach, because what I'm gonna do here is set up a heal. <laughs> that is so weird, just his head is frozen, but everything else is totally fine except for his special moves. It just sort of seems like a weird choice. So Mario, I'm gonna have you slide attack him, bounce off of Rabbit Peach, bounce off of you, and that should guarantee apparently take you out, and then everybody can blast this dude. And that might be good. So boom, boom. And then before we do anything more, I'm gonna go ahead and make Mario power boost everybody. We're going to have Rabbit Peach heal whoever she can, because Luigi really needs it right now. And we're gonna try to get him farther away, it's just right now this was the best I could do because I can heal him. And now we're good to just attack him, so maybe this will even be a honey shot? It will not, but it would've been great if it was. Mario, you can shoot him. You're just facing the wrong way for some reason. There you go. Boom. And maybe, I don't know how, many, how much gold or experience I had, and maybe I should've checked that before we went into this. Didn't really think about that too much. But he can snipe. So that's good, boom, no, he missed. Good job, Luigi. Okay, well, we got some good damage on the ball, so, and we took care of one Ziggy, and it doesn't seem like more Ziggies are spawning in, so I'm glad to see that. Uh, you're gonna shoot at Mario, will you land, though? You will, gosh darn. <laughs> He's dancing on us, too. Oh, and he has that, I don't like it. Oh, this guy's scary, too. He doesn't have as much health, though. But it doesn't matter, because Luigi is very low on health right now. Which means I need that Ziggy not to shoot at Luigi. Oh gosh, please don't hit Luigi. Please don't hit Luigi. Oh, he's gonna hit Luigi, isn't he? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What are we supposed to do with the hill? He set himself on fire, but oh my gosh, why? Why? <laughs> and what is he doing now? Oh, he's putting a shield on. Okay, so what I gotta do now is I gotta get Princess Meta or Rabbit Peach over here again. Oh, I'm doing that so that Luigi can double bounce off of him. And then maybe Mario, uh, maybe we shouldn't do anything with Mario just yet. Because right now I want to pick up some coins because there's just free coins again. That'll help me with being stronger. We definitely need to find a way to make Luigi stronger. Maybe have more health in some way. But I just need him to get as far away of the, from the action as physically possible while still being blockaded. And that's sort of the tricky part right now is that there just really isn't too many places he can hide very well right now. I think right here is his best bet. So boom, and then what could we do beyond that? Maybe I could, I don't know if this will exactly work, but if I switch as Mario, could I maybe do that? Jump off Luigi, I can't quite reach you. I was hoping like maybe I could actually land on him and take him out. That's okay, because what I can do instead then is I could just, you know, blast this rabbit, because I think this is the last Ziggy, right? Like, if we go to our Tacticam, no, Tacticam, there's a Ziggy here, and then there's the two bosses. So, yeah, I think that's actually the case. So, you're gonna blast this dude, finish him off, just so he's not doing any unnecessary damage. And then, we're gonna attack you. I got 100% shot at you, so might as well. Please land, honey, because this is actually gonna affect your barrier first. Maybe I should have done something against that. Okay, so yeah, there's some honey there, so that's really good. Get his shield nice and ready, then finally maybe Luigi can blast him. Boom, it, he will blast him. It wasn't a critical, but that's fine. As long as we land a critical occasionally, right? 
Let's finish this turn. Luigi has 10 health, so hopefully everybody is too far away from him. Oh. They're always super tall, too, so they can, like, reach farther. Oh, my mid-bosses are tough. Like, <laughs> you think, oh, mid-boss, I can handle that just by its name. But not quite. So, that didn't do really any damage. I don't think, yeah, I don't think that did any damage at all. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is be Rabbit Peach. And I'm one space away from that. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. All right, then maybe I should, hmm, where's Mario at? Okay. Maybe Louis, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And then Rabbit Peach can, still not. <laughs> okay. Hmm, how do I wanna do this? I just, I don't know, maybe I just can't reach him. Cause like if I put Rabbit Peach here and maybe that'd work, but would we be able to take him out is a problem. I'm not really sure. Um, so let's get Rabbit Peach here. Oh, come on, dude, really? Really, is this necessary? Okay, at least it didn't critical or nothing. Now we just need to move to Yoon. Bounce off of you. Yes, it will land. Okay, so that means we can actually land real shots on these guys. I'm gonna hide behind this. Now this isn't gonna give us too much of a blockage because of course um, there isn't too much on left to this barrier, but it'll be something for now. We can go ahead and blast you like that. It won't be a critical, but it's something. And then you can blast him. We could finish off this first mid boss out of the two. 65 damage and then just a little bit more. Come on, Luigi, you can do it. Boom. Nice, okay. So now all we have to worry about, oh, that was a golden shot, too, is Luigi could move. But really, where could he move where he's safe? Honestly, I don't know if any of these spots are safe for him. I mean, my idea would probably be just as far away from the ice guy as possible, but where really is that? Maybe here? Like, I know he's closer in proximity, but he's got more of a defense within barriers, so hopefully he is ignored? But at this point, like, anybody, like, he could attack him, and he did. He could have done that from the other angle too, though. Yeah, there was nothing stopping him. So I guess we're not gonna get this one perfect. It happens. So how can we do this? I can, hmm, there's not really too much we can do here besides get attacked because this guy just has this move every turn and it's a critical. So we are on our own as Mario. We were doing so well and then it went really bad really fast. So I think at this point, Mario could come a little closer and then shoot him, sure why not. And we're just gonna have to get, are you kidding me? Really? Okay, I don't I don't believe that angling, but we're just gonna have to get lucky as Mario. It's just me and this guy. Oh, yikes. Now I don't think you can actually remove Mario from your team. Mario always has to be on your team. Please let this not do 139 damage. It didn't, but there's no way I'm gonna be able to do 164 damage to the guy. It's just not gonna happen. I mean, at best, I can activate this. And then I could run up to him and see if I can't ra like land the hammer. Um, chances are that's not gonna work though. And if it even works, I might not get like a successful like shot off. Yeah, now I'm definitely gonna die. And I got frozen. Okay, yeah, this, this is so, oh, okay, it's out of range. Yeah, we lost, we lost, we're gonna restart the battle. Okay, so to redo things this time, I'm gonna prepare for battle. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that we've gotten everything we can buy right now. Cause right now I have 1346 coins. We gotta be able to equip something that can help us, right? Cause I'm not, I'm just not doing well against these bosses. I feel under leveled. Um, it really isn't too much, is there? Like I can do this, but obviously it's gonna do the same amount of damage when it comes to the percentages. You know, it's just a different effect. So, Mario, do you have a stronger hammer we can equip? No, so when it comes to weapons, we're just out of luck. When it comes to our ability stuff here, like, I really don't have anything, I don't think it's gonna change the tide of battle for us. Increases damage done when performing a dash, increases the area of movement. Uh, maybe we should try this one then? And then, for Luigi here, he has 25 points. He has to be able to get something out of that, right? Um. Increase the range of team jump. I mean, maybe this is hero, heroes overcome by super effect are restored. So like, obviously if another character got like a nice block on their head, this could be helpful. So maybe I should just do this and maybe it'll be more of a savior tactic. Now, I don't think we have enough for basically anything else. So I guess that's where we'll throw in, wait, wait, increases, oh, we'll do this. That's not too bad. 
And then Rabbit Peach. What more can we really do for her? And increases the damage dealt. She does do a lot of dashes, so maybe we should add that one. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this one. Extra team jump damage doesn't seem too bad. Or not dash damage, because she can damage more than one person. She can damage two, so or dash two, so there'll be more damage to those two people. Hopefully that will help. If not, I will be a little bummed, but for right now, Luigi, I'm gonna have you hide over here. Mario, I don't know what I wanna do with you just yet, but Luigi, we can go ahead and get you set up with that. Now Mario, I would give him, I would make him do the power boost for everybody, but the problem is that everybody's sort of hidden right now. I mean, maybe it'd still be worth doing. Maybe if I like hid Mario, maybe I could hit, hide Rabbit Peach here, and then I can bounce Mario off of her to here, because this seems to be a well protected area. Because I'm pretty sure this uh, this block right here will be taken out in one shot. Like if I go like this, it'll be taken out one shot guaranteed. Yes. So now all we need to do is Mario. If you power boosted right now, would it power boost Luigi as well? It would not. So it might be just better to do Hero Sight for right now, and then blast you as much as we can. If we can maybe take care of the Ice Guy first, that might be exactly what we need. So, Luigi, you could do the bomb, but I just don't think the bomb's gonna help because this guy has a huge range of movement when he's just out and about. So maybe, just maybe, we can get lucky with taking him out, especially with a critical, and then Mario's gonna smack him, and then Luigi's gonna smack him. Yes, that's what we needed in our life right there. Did we just beat the boss in turn one? Yes, we did! That's gonna make things so much easier! That's exactly what I needed! Oh my gosh, that was insane! Now, don't get me wrong, we could still definitely lose here, but that ice guy was definitely giving me the majority of my troubles. And Ziggy's a pain in the butt. But hey, it could be worse. So he's been a pain in the booty by uh, doing a lot of stuff. But for right now, you're gonna shoot Mario dead on. So this was a really bad defensive spot for Mario. But... Everybody else has seemed to be totally fine. Well, this please don't land. Thank you. I'm glad we got some kind of break, but now this guy's going around, and if he just immediately takes out Mario, I'll be super bummed, because I feel like we're doing so much better. Can he do 185 damage? No, but we gotta make sure we're not clustered together, or this is gonna happen, and it's awful. Oh my gosh, they just don't stop. Okay. And is that it? No, you have another one. No, okay, you had the shield. Totally forgot about that. So we can go ahead at the least, the very least, go ahead and do that, do that, and then maybe just have you run back here. Like maybe that was silly. Maybe I could have had her in a spot where Mario could jump off of her. But we could, as Luigi, increase the distance of everybody. And then as Mario, because Luigi didn't take any damage, which is good, because he has the least health. So, Mario, you're gonna increase the damage of everybody. I want you to land off of them, and then, like, I guess just land as close as you can here. I mean, really, what else can we do? <laughs> that was a bit of a mistake, because one thing, if we defeat the bosses, that's it. You know, like, we don't even have to worry about the Ziggies. But it's easier said than done, for sure. So let's go ahead and blast you full on. Oh, it's gonna be a critical bounce as well. That's really good. All right, Luis, you just need to smack him, like, really, really good. Now, I don't think she can reach anybody else, so you might as well make your life a little bit easier, get rid of the Ziggy. And then, maybe you could heal Mario? Uh, if you were to heal right now, would that reach Mario? It would not, so it's not worth doing. Okay, you? Sure, and wait, or do this, but it will hit Luigi is the problem. So I don't know if I wanna do that. Even if it is a good chunk more damage, if we could hit the critical, can we hit the critical? We can't, but still 90 damage. All right, and Luigi can still move. I sort of forgot about that part. Uh, Luigi, where can you move that's gonna make you the most safe? Uh, we could slide tackle Yoon. And then maybe here. Like, he's gonna get beat up by the Ziggies, but he's not gonna get beat up by, you know who, him, hopefully. Maybe uh, this, uh, whatever his name, will go after one of these two, because they're gonna be more vulnerable. Like, Mario's super vulnerable right now. Ziggy's just gonna walk around and do that, and then attack him. Like, Luigi still might get taken out here, which would be the worst. But like, where else could I put him, could have put him? Like, I think this could have been the best situation for him. Cause he's gonna get blasted here, he has 40 health left though. So as long as this Earth uh, guy doesn't go for him, which he probably will. No in my life, come on, just don't do it. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that is so good. Oh, that is so good, even if you hit Mario here, it's not gonna do 120 damage, right? It is not. 
Actually, did that land that much at all? Not really. I think maybe the barrier took most of the hit there. And then this shouldn't be too bad at all. I'm gonna go ahead like this, and then I'm gonna wait right here. Actually, let me pick up a bunch of coins first. Uh, wait right here. Boom. I'm just gonna get rid of your shield. And now Mario, you can, well first off, let's heal. Heal whoever we can. And then you can just blast him. Not a critical, but that's fine, because Mario now can just hop, hop, and then probably win with that, right? Ooh, boom, I think that's it, I think that's it, come on, come on! Yeah, so we just beat the mid boss, much easier that time, getting a bad start with that one and not being able to take care of the ice boss is really awful, but oh, goodbye, goodbye. Oh, it's Beepo, hey Beepo. Uh, you okay? What the? Ah, I see our frozen friend has finally decided to join us. A pale imitation of the real thing, of course, but still, any ally in the fight against Bowser Jr. is a welcome sight indeed. I suggest we withdraw the, to Princess Peach's castle and get our new companion up to speed. Oh my. Awkward, he really is pale compared to Mario. Oh. <laughs> He's got the song nailed down. Nice. At least their friends are getting along, that's really cute. Mario's not like competitive, but hey, we won with three out of seven turns. It was a perfect, I am so, so glad to see we will not have to redo that boss fight. Oh man, that was a tough one. Oh, look at this, we're at the boss already. That's actually surprisingly quick. I thought there was gonna be another level or two. Okay, so we're at the fridge. What are we gonna find in here? I mean, the little rabbit guy should still be in there, right? Oh no, no, you're much worse. It's the Icicle Golem, effective icebreaker. Why would, okay, um, and he has a fridge door as a shield. He's huge, I don't like it. Hi, oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't like it at all. Oh, hey, are you here to help? Oh, you get a blaster, you are here to help. Oh, Princess Peach is here to save the day. And she has a fire blaster, it's gonna be perfect. Oh no, watch out. No, she's already frozen. Oh no, that was, was that rabid Princess Peach? Okay, well, Princess Peach steals the show. Defeat the boss. Okay. This is awesome, so we get to try out a new character too. Mmm, man. So let's check her out really quickly. She has a royal gaze when triggered 72 to 80 damage, so just like Luigi would have. Um, and then protection, heroes in range, 40% damage reduction. And that lasts for two turns. Or has a two turn cooldown, I still don't know. Um, and then she also has the duckus. Oh, this is a grenade. And then she has the blue flame. Neither of these things we can really do too much from here, but that's fine. That is so awesome though. If we check out her, no, Tacticam. She also has, hmm, hmm, that's about it. I was gonna see if maybe we can see how many jumps she has. Can she jump off of multiple characters? She cannot. Okay. Well, she's gonna be a healing type character. She actually has more health than anybody though. She's a tank, <laughs> that's cool. All right, let's get her like around here and I'm gonna guess it's gonna work similar to the shield guys do. So we're gonna have to get characters well defended. So maybe I should get Mario out a little bit farther and like here and that way uh, Princess Peach can actually lob her thing and that'd be awesome. So yeah, let's get her, oh, she doesn't go quite far enough anymore. Okay, that was my bad. Um, Well then we'll get you over here. It's not the best, but it's something. And that actually might hit him. No, if I was closer maybe. Maybe I can make it, Ah, oh, no one around. Okay, let's activate this, might work. And then let's get you over here. Oh, maybe I should have hit her behind the barrier over there. That actually would have been like behind us right now. It might have been better. So this actually would work, but it will it land? Boom, boom. Oh, it actually does damage maybe to the shield. Oh, this is probably like a breakable shield or something. Like if we attack him, that doesn't work. Okay, good to know, good to know. All right, and we'll activate that as well. I'm sure new characters are gonna start spawning in here soon. And we can't hit anybody with Rabbit Mario, so we might as well leave it with that. This is cool. Oh gosh, oh gosh, please don't land. Whoa, that landed. Okay, that's not good. 
So she doesn't have any healing moves. I'm actually surprised about that. Maybe there is a way for her to upgrade the healing moves, but for right now, she does not. Um, I could just move right here. Like, it might be a really bad idea, but if I could do it, like, would this hit any of them? It will not, so I really wanna land this then. Boom, just like that. Oh, he's immune to the critical, but it's good that we got a critical. Let's, nobody, oh, we can't target him with that, interesting. Well, we might as well try this, see if it works. Uh, if we did this, I mean, I don't know if that's gonna be that great of an idea, but we could hide here. Oh, look at this. Whoa, oh, she has a healing land to her thing, and then she has a similar attack to Rapid Mario. That is so cool, so she can heal, she just has to land on people. Interesting. Could I land, I can't do that to you. It would be so cool if I could, but I can't. Okay, so I'm gonna get you here. And then maybe next round I could use Ra or Mario's power boost. Would that reach Peach? It will not. <laughs> will it reach Peach? Wow, we're doing really good so far. Is this really what the boss is gonna be? Because honestly, we're not doing too bad against him. Like at this point, we could win in the next turn or two. I mean, he's turning around a little bit. Who is he going for? He's actually, okay, that changes things up a good bit. Oh no, and he's gonna 100% hit Peach, that's not good. 35 damage actually, okay, that's not too much. Um, okay. So, then maybe I could jump to like here. This would be a 100% hit if I do this. Yay. And then these two have a decent amount of health. Rabbit Mario hasn't been hit a single time. So I could, just go like this, land somewhere around here. Like, here wouldn't be too bad, but I mean, I'm just trying to see if maybe I could, I don't know, take him out this turn. Like, if I land here, well, she, the problem is that he's not gonna be in the healing range, so we'll do this. It'll heal her and Mario. Boom. That is so cool, I love that. So it's gonna be 0%, but this is gonna be 100, and it will not hit Mario. It's close to, but not quite. Boom. Oh, and then he turned a little bit. Let's do some damage reduction, because we're definitely gonna need it. So maybe I should have done Mario's damage booster. That was sort of silly of me. Um, Well, I'll get around here, and I don't think this will be a full blast landed, but it won't hit our teammates, so that's more important to me. So boom, we'll hit you like that. 40 damage. So maybe I will wait until next turn even for this damage boost. But I could win right here. I don't know though, will this be a win? I'm almost hesitant to think that. Boom. 98 damage, that was a critical, and there goes his shield. So he is not done. All right, that's both good and bad. Enemy's turn, and now we got some rabbits starting to pop up. Now he just has full on 500 health. I thought that was gonna be too easy. All right, so you're just gonna smash him. 70 damage is quite a lot, but that's okay, because once again, really, that we can heal every single turn now. That is so good. Rabbit, I mean, not rabbit, peach, she's just peach. I keep on calling Rabbit Peach Peach, and now I'm gonna call Peach Rabbit Peach. Is that what's gonna happen here? All right then, so what I'm gonna actually do is maybe I could get, like, okay. So how far can Peach move here? All the way out to there, right? Um, I wish I could move the camera around a little bit, I can. Um, so we're gonna get Mario here. Oh no, he has this move. Oh no, ow, that hurt. Actually not a ton. So he's not very much so a heavy hitter. Um, I can get you here, and he has no shield now, so we can hit him super hard. So before we do any of that, we're going to, as Peach, hop over here, and then just land next to you guys and heal everybody. This is fantastic, and the Smasher is out and about too. I actually didn't notice that. Um, so now Mario, yep, you're Mario. You're going to damage boost everyone. Then, you're gonna smack him, and that's gonna be one. Oh, a critical, 118 damage. This isn't gonna be super crazy, but it does 83 damage. And then finally, you can hit him as well, and that's gonna do a critical 109 damage. Right there, we just hit him for more than half of his health. And I don't think we can do anything else, so I think it's time to end the turn. Okay, the Smashers are gonna be on the move, but I think we could handle this. He might actually hit all, all three of us at once. But once again, Rabbit Peach, I'm, not, I'm seriously gonna end up making that mistake. Peach is just gonna hop up and down and heal all of them. That is so good. It's not a huge amount of healing, but a little bit of healing every turn is good, better than like a, a medium amount of healing every like four turns that Rabbit Peach had. So we can land you here and really doesn't matter. The only problem now is that we don't have a damage boost, but I think even then, if we give you this, 
we can throw the grenade at you, right? It won't hit any of our teammates. Well, it'll do more damage. This will actually do more damage. So let's go ahead and do this. Oh, boom. 97 damage. He's down to 93, which is like, I wish we could slide tackle him, but we could hammer slam him, not hit a single one of our teammates. We might win right here. We did. That might be our easiest boss fight yet. And I think it's because Peach is super awesome. Wow, what a team we got. Is he done? Well, he's like, I'm sick of this. I'm out of here. No, he's not done. I was going to say. I was gonna say, like, it just sort of seems weird if it would be that easy. Okay, then what do we wanna do about this? Once again, uh, Peach could, I wanna get them all to safer spots, though, if we can manage. Because we don't have attack. Okay, so that's sort of the thing, right? Is that that wasn't the end of the turn. Everybody can still move, everybody has their movement. That's actually pretty crazy. Um, We will get you here. I mean, maybe that was silly? But what I could do is get, oh no, wait, Peach did move. Okay, never mind. Um. Well then maybe I could do this to get started on beating this dude up. And then like, I don't know how I wanna do that. I guess just land here and that way like he maybe won't be able to decide as much where he wants to go. I can't wait to upgrade Rabbit Peach, that's gonna be fun. Okay, so this isn't gonna hit Mario, that's great, but it actually might freeze this dude. It does. Now he's not gonna be able to do too much more than that, but that's still fantastic. He's gonna get smacked, but I can shield. Once again, I don't know if this is gonna do all that much. Enemies, he's gonna blast Mario. Sort of forgot about that dude already. See, now he's doing more damage than ever, but a critical is only 35, that's not much. I'm guessing he just must be that he has a ton of phases. This is a third phase now. I mean, just like the, the Rabbit Kong. Rabbit Kong had three phases. So that might just be what it is. Oh, okay, that's actually really dangerous. Okay, so she's gonna get hit. Poor Peach. Poor Peach indeed. I'm glad though she kicks butt. That is so cool. Okay. Now what? Uh, oh, there's a supporter over there. Okay. So all we need to do now is not do that one because that's actually gonna explode and hurt people. We don't want that, so boom, do that. Oh, we didn't make her jump off of anybody. That might have been a big mistake. Uh, Yeah, I don't know what I wanna do about that now. Mario can move. Oh, you. Oh, you. Eesh. All right, Mario. Can you move? Can Mario move? Yeah, he can move. All right, let's try to get him hidden somewhere safe, right? I mean, can Peach from here block these guys? No, actually she can't hit either of them. So I've made some major mistakes this round. Then maybe the best thing I could do is, both both of these angles I have 100% shot. So I'll take it. Where's the supporter at though? The supporter's over there. So I can't quite hit him here. Might as well just hit you. So things aren't looking good on this third phase, but we're getting there. And then I don't want you to do this because you're, you're, I mean, you can't hit anybody. So there's that one done. That was not a good round. First two rounds were fantastic. This one, not so much. Eesh. Okay. Well, you're going to move over there. And you're going to move over here. And the supporters are starting to make things look scary. I hope the supporters can't heal the bosses, but they probably can. You're gonna lob a grenade. Oh, please don't be too much damage. 35. Oh no, I think Rapid Mario actually might get taken out here. And things were going so good though. Cause this other supporter hasn't moved yet. Okay, he's moving over here. Please don't hit Rapid Mario. You're gonna hit Rapid Mario, no. Oh, 32. Okay, we're still kicking. We're still kicking. You're gonna run over here and, and just like, I guess just like get away as far as possible, right? I mean, I don't really know where you could go. Where does this pipe lead? in a big circle. <laughs> so maybe it'd actually be safer go this way. If I did this, it actually wouldn't be too big of a deal just to hit you as I go along and then just get you over here, I guess. I just need him safe somewhere, but as close to Peach as possible because Peach actually doesn't have too much movement. So that's a, a little weird. All right, so. Where's the best place I can land where I'm healing? I guess I can only heal him. It's something though. Ready? Boom. Okay, so that gets some heals out. We can do some damage reduction for everybody, which is fantastic. So now Mario, you can't do a ton in your position. 
I can't side attack this dude though, which is actually a shame. Um, man, we are actually starting to get really into bad positions here. Maybe this is what we get for not managing these guys right away and focusing more on, uh, you know, other things. I don't really know. I could maybe even make Mari just land right back here. Like, maybe that's the best thing I could possibly do. Like, just get a free slide attack in, go through the pipe. This is Peaches out in the open right now, which I don't like. But really, what more can I do? We'll get this down. And then just blast this dude again. I mean, even if we have to just slowly blast him down, that will technically work. All right, let's end the turn. This is starting to get really nasty. Ooh, who's gonna hit who? Yikes, and it hit both of them. I need to spread people out then. Like, it's just so hard because I'm trying to get Peach to heal them. So this is the downside of Peach's heal. No, I don't want you moving closer though. I was hoping you'd use that on the boss. Okay, well you didn't. And now he, the boss has that move now too, which stinks. Come on, don't don't hit Rabbit Mario. Yep, there goes Rabbit Mario. That is the worst. So this is what what happens when we don't manage everything correctly. Man, I really don't like supporters. They are not fun to go against. Cause like I wanted to heal. I mean I can still heal, but the problem is now I'm gonna get blasted as I do that. I almost maybe want Mario to start moving then. I don't know what I want to do about this. There's just not much coverage either, and that really stinks. Like, I just might have to have you here. I think it's your best bet. You're gonna get hit, but is it gonna do 79 damage? It's gonna do 35. Let's up play. Okay, Mario, let's up play indeed. Let's make you jump off of that, land like that, and then I don't even know. I guess just hammer you. Like, that'd probably be the best thing we could do. Nice, and then let's hammer blast you if we can. I mean, we could just, we could finish him off normally with a normal blast, right? Okay, I'm doing the wrong thing here. Yeah, we could. Okay, let's save it for uh, the boss then if we can. And then, I, I, we might lose this though. Like, that's sort of the thing. There is still plenty of opportunity to lose this right now. Let's throw a grenade, and maybe this might even hit the boss as well. That'd be great. It didn't. Why didn't that work? Okay, maybe I should've thrown it towards the boss and maybe that would've worked out better. Oh, poor Peach. She didn't get hit there, but she might get hit soon enough. Oh no. Yeah, you're gonna lob your grenade. That might do enough to take her out, depending on what it is, 27. So actually, didn't hit her. Well, it hit her a little, bit, a little bit, but not a huge ton. So where can we bring Yoon? I mean, this is a bit dangerous, especially if I need the heals really bad. Oh, I don't know, oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like how I don't know. So it's gonna learn. It's gonna take me some learning to figure out how to properly use Princess Peach. I think. Not only that, but I think uh, Mario probably had his damage boost this turn, so I just wasted a good opportunity again. So I don't know. Like I could just have Mario walk right up since he has so much gosh darn health right now. But would that be a good idea? You know, like that's sort of the, the thing. Because I could have Mario just walk up, slide attack you. And, and then just wait right here and blast this guy, and then we can worry mail. Maybe next turn, um, just hammering on the boss. So don't worry about you just yet. This isn't gonna take you out though. This will. So maybe I just gotta do this. My uh, my cover's gonna be blown. Oh no, it won't. Okay, cool. So this is actually like the first two waves were so easy. This third wave is insane. It looks like a lot of it seems to be like, you know, I could take these pipes and sneak up behind. All right, I know, you're mad. You're gonna get closer, but not really all that much closer. So, where can Mario go here? That might be good. I want him close enough so that he can do the hammer, and then she can just go right there and heal. Okay, so we'll do just that. I mean, I might run up here with Mario. Oh, I keep forgetting you have that. Luckily, it didn't freeze me this time. How big is that? So not big enough. Oh, I don't have the hammer. Oh, I'm the worst, I am the worst at this game. Okay, I'm gonna heal you as much as I possibly can. Let's do a bit of that. I could have done so much better if I realized I didn't have the hammer. Okay, now the problem is is that Mario is probably gonna get hurt no matter what here. So we might as well just damage boost everybody and just really hit him good. Cause this will, this is all the damage I can do with Mario. 
boom, critical, 118, that's beautiful. 108, 70, okay, so we just gotta do this. I know it's gonna hit Mario, but it did also hit him. Okay, enemies turn, the Smashers move her closer and closer, that almost took out Princess Peach. But it's just us and the Smasher who's actually gonna take the pipe. I hate it that Smashers are smart. I really don't like it, oh gosh. So he actually wasn't able to hit the Saren. Oh my gosh, that was too close. So I could either do that, or I could slide attack him, and go somewhere, or I could bounce off of him. I could bounce off of Princess Peach. I could go like that, but I don't like that as much. I think we need to make as much distance from him as possible, really. So let's just go here. And hopefully Princess Peach can walk that far. If not, I'm gonna be feeling real stupid right now. Okay, she can, thank goodness. And then if I land him here, or land her here, we can do that. How low is the boss? I really hope he's low. I really, really hope he's low. Um, Cause we're definitely gonna do this and hope that that is actually given to the boss. We're gonna lob this thing. Oh, we could take him out right here. We could. So we're actually gonna win, but we're not gonna win with a perfect. I definitely made some mistakes, but we won. And unless this isn't his last phase, but I'm pretty sure it is, cause he's reeling and he ain't doing much dealing. Uh, weird lack of sound effects. Um, what? So we're not done. Well then my best bet, cause Peach already has her set up, is to set up Mario's, that way, if this guy does come on, he's gonna come over here regardless. Might as well honey him, that's a lucky shot. So what can we really do here? How far can, Peach can go that far. So Mario can also go that far. Hmm. I don't know what the better move is then. I guess we'll just get Mario here and then hope that Peach can land that far. Boom, right on top of it or something. I don't know what we're supposed to do with this thing. Are we supposed to pick it up? Are we supposed to throw it? We've never had something like this before. Or it's just a big purple arrow. Because we can't attack this thing. All right, let's damage reduction whoever we can if that's just us. It's, oh, we can't just do it on ourselves. Okay, well, I'll do this. Maybe hit him. It hit him a little bit. How low is he now? Low enough for Mario to take him out. Boom, get out of here, punk. So what do we do with this thing? I don't really know. I hope it doesn't pop back into its place though, cause that would be stinky. It might just, it might just, he looks like he's getting ready to do that. What can I do with that? Um, okay, boom. Okay, was that it? I think we did it. <laughs> that was a weird ending to the boss fight, but we beat him. <laughs> to be or not to be, ice is the question. I, I don't, that's a weird pun. There you go, it's yours. It's yours, punt it! <laughs> Princess Peach is awesome. See ya. Hi, Rabbit Peach. Meet Princess Peach again. We are honored to have you join us, your royal highness. May I suggest we return to your castle so we may prepare for our next match? That'd be Peachy. <laughs> you gotta get the pun in there. Oh, what's happening? Um. Hey, look at you! It's Rabbit Yoshi! Oh, oh no. Oh no. Who are you? You're not Rabbit Yoshi. You are scary. Oh! Wow! <laughs> it is Calavera! Shade behind the shield! This guy's creepy. Uh, defeat mid boss. So here's our mid boss sneaking up on us. I wasn't ready for that, which is pretty cool. So, he just creeped out of the well. So what do we got here? Let's prepare for battle, we got a lot to do. First we should check out the competition. We have a spooky smasher, two spooky peekaboos, and then of course the mid boss himself, Calavera. He has 1100 health, uh, burping, sorry. <laughs> Four cells of movement, repels opponents with scaredy hero, green, uh, gran grenade duck, um, which is 100 damage, that's not too much, but it has push, and then p buckle cover, portable cover. Hmm, yeah he has that, so we're gonna have to sneak behind him a little bit. That's gonna make it challenging. I wonder if he can teleport around like the uh, Peekaboos can. Either way, we wouldn't go to Battle HQ because we do have some upgrades that we can make some use out of. I just don't know if there's really anything we want to upgrade right now. That's the hard part, every time. Because we could upgrade to this, but is that really much of an upgrade? No, it's not. And same thing here, nothing to upgrade to. Uh, as Peach, 
that's worth it if there were any Valkyries. Uh, the cover damage is higher, but once again, it's burn damage. I just don't like burn damage. Hmm, really, there's not too much I can do then. I mean, I like the team I have, unless we wanna start, I don't know, my team's working, so I don't really wanna mess with that formula too much. Okay, Peach has 95 things now, so we can go ahead and upgrade her heal. I just don't know if she needs it at this point. I mean, we could upgrade her dash. Ooh, I'll just upgrade her heal so it's maximum. We never have to worry about it again. Um, now, Mario has 25 points. Same thing with Rabbit Luigi. We could just go ahead. We should just max out his damage. That would be so good. Like 160 damage per dash is insane. So let's just keep with that. I can see why you guys are saying he's OP. Um, we could work on maybe increasing Mario's dash damage as well. Even though he only has one. So like, I almost want to focus on other things. Okay, well, uh, no matter what, that's the best we can do. We don't have really any weapons that are better that we could upgrade to at the moment. So, we should fight, yeah. Oh, I'm a bit nervous, I won't lie. Hmm, maybe we could get, I know it seems a little bit crazy, but maybe we could activate this. Like maybe this is very aggressive, but if we could take care of those smashers right away, that'd be really good. So we can have her land like right here, right in front of the smasher. I mean, maybe that's silly, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get Mario to run up. I'm gonna have him land on like this dude. And that almost takes him out just straight up. And then I can just have him like here and attack the smasher. Peach can attack both the smasher and hopefully this guy. I mean, maybe I should have made Mario move a little bit farther away then but I want him to attack Yoon, just like that. And then boom, he's gonna start moving and that's when Peach can attack and hopefully not blast Mario, at least not too bad. Boom, it actually doesn't hit Mario at all, that is perfect. But wow, he still survived that, huh? Okay, that's a bit surprising. Um, The only thing is now Mario has his back turned towards, uh, you know who? Is that really worth doing? I mean, I guess he can't reach anything else, so I guess have him here, why not? I mean, the peekaboos are most likely just gonna run away anyways, so do this. And from here, can Rabid Luigi, who can he damage reduce? He can damage reduce both of these guys, which is really good, because that means his first turn where he is probably going to attack Mario from the back, it won't hurt too bad, and that's a critical. All right, well, I think we've used just about everything we can. Oh yeah, I totally forgot we had this. Let's do this then. That might even finish him off if we get a lucky crit. It will, yes! That's actually gonna put us way ahead. There are now no more enemies to deal with. Great. So we'll fast forward to this. He has 1,100 health. This is gonna hurt 70 damage. Actually, ain't too bad. Um, First off, pick up coins. Pick up as many coins as I can. And then, hmm. I'm gonna sneak Rabbit Luigi because he can't reach her or him or it. So I'm gonna have him go here. And, and maybe Mario could reach that? Oh, he can't quite. How far can Mario run from here? I mean, if I did that, definitely it would work. So let's get uh, Peach here. If that's the farther she can go. Well, no, she can go farther. And let's just get her here then. She ain't healing too much like this, but that's okay. <laughs> and then Mario, I'm gonna get you over there and have you land behind this dude for sure. I mean, this right here, this is 100% as well. Let's do that then. Boom, 150 damage, that is so good. Okay, let's get this ready just in case we need it. And then Maybe we should've just gotten closer and done the hammer, I don't know. But for now we have this, maybe next turn hammer. That'd be good. Can Luigi move yet? He's already moved, so we don't wanna worry about that too much. I could do this, it won't hit Mario, and that's good. Boom. 60 damage there. And we'll just have to chip away at his health for now until uh, maybe the situation improves. So we wanna go ahead and throw him this grenade. Or grenade duck, grenade duck. I've never known how to pronounce that, and I probably never will. But let's finish it with that. We're all pretty much healthy. Mario is gonna take the biggest hit again, but nobody else can, Oh, that hurt. Nobody else can hit us right now. 
Okay, I think our best bet is, ooh, Mario's gonna smack him. Will this do any damage? It will, it'll actually bounce, and that's really good, because I was about to suggest that what we should do is go ahead and vamp this dude. So he's just gonna sit there, right? Nice, this, is, this could be potentially awesome. So what we wanna do now is, like I said, I'm first gonna have Rabbit Luigi just vamp him, and then maybe we could have Rabbit Luigi hide somewhere more strategic, like here. Let's see, can Mario maybe hop off of that? Where's Mario at and what can he do? Not too much, actually. So I think that no matter what, he's not gonna be able to get over to him and bounce off of him. I really don't think so, but we could try it. Cause from here, we can't hit anything. From here, we can't hit anything either. But we might as well run off this way. Cause if, even if it's just chancing it, Mario could maybe hop off of Peach and land way off. Not quite, once again, not quite. Ooh, I wish right here, this isn't close enough for a hammer, but we could try it. Cause he's vamped, once again, he is vamped. So if we hit him really good, oh man, I don't like how that works. Why is it like that? Maybe because of this bunny in the way? I don't know, but this will still, it was a bad choice overall, I'm not gonna deny. Definitely a bad choice, but we get some health back for it. We can't do that, and Peach can't really do too much now because she'll just hit Mario, so bad turn, I will agree, bad turn. Good turn followed by a bad turn, though. Now we got these guys popping up. Wah! Okay, so he can do that. What about these guys? Did these guys get the move the same day they spawn in? Or the same round, I think? Wow, what was that about? So he squeezed Yoshi and Yoshi pooped out a bomb. Or rabbit Yoshi, oh gosh. Oh gosh, this could actually be bad depending on what he does. Um, no, come on. Okay, I'm gonna restart then. We were doing so well, that is so unfair. And I mean, I guess I messed it up, it's my fault, but come on. Okay, so we're just doing what we did last time. We're gonna have her trigger this and then have Mario attack the Smasher like this. Um, no, I'm doing the wrong thing. And this should definitely, if it does it this, oh no, it's gonna mess this up. This isn't the way I was supposed to do it, but there was a critical, this is why I hate bounce. Because it's, you know, if it was honey, it's like, I mean, I guess it would make it, I don't know though, would it really make it worse or better or anything? I don't really think so. Um, I'll have Rabbit Luigi land here and and this is just not what I wanted at all though, because while we took care of two characters, that's great, we won't be able to take care of this third one, probably without hurting Mario. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's worth taking that risk? I don't know. And then we can have, we can make his attacks weaker this turn. And then, which one's gonna hurt more? That will hurt more, so we should just go ahead and do this. I mean, then I won't have the duck for next turn, but I guess it's better than nothing. All right, well, your turn now. So now we just need to pay attention to our positioning. It will literally change everything. Speaking of what she's positioning us for us. Okay, well, pick up all these coins, all of them, every single one of them. I need more coins so I can upgrade my weapons whenever I get more weapons. I don't know, I definitely need to, uh, After, soon after we complete this world, we gotta go and get more weapons in any way we can. I'll get, first off, can I get, I can't. I just need to get closer to the guy, but that's really tough to do. Hmm. First off, let's maybe get Mario like here. Yeah, he's far away, but as long as we can like sort of recoup a bit, that's not that bad of an idea. Well, that's the idea we wanna go with. I mean, I can keep Rabbit Luigi there. He is at full health. He'll make his own opportunities. And that brings Mario pretty much closer, a good amount closer to full health. And then from here, that's 100% landing if we do the bazooka, but anywhere that's gonna be the case. So we might as well just do it. First shot landed on this guy. Definitely not, I feel like it's still not going as well as last time did, but we messed up last time. So how much of that, how far did that get me? Got Mario taken off pretty quick, that's what it did. So yeah, he just spits out a grenade. So definitely confirms that at least Rabid Yoshi is gonna be a grenade-based character. Hmm. Let's get um, Peach out as far as she can go. 
Which really, this isn't any much different. I'll just get her hiding here. Mario should be able to go out just, just about as far. Yep. I don't know if it's a good idea, because once again, he's low on health. Maybe we could have him here. That shouldn't be too bad. And then, Luigi. Can Luigi, Rabbit Luigi still can't run out here and, and get this done. Come on, dude. You gotta get something done sooner or later, right? So she's he's blocking off against him. We can get the duck over. Let's do it. Not a ton of damage, but it's gonna make us a little bit closer to getting done what we want done. Mario can't hit him. But he can activate this. I'm sure that's actually gonna be used. If this continues the way, I think it's going to, but we'll have to see. Because we get two peekaboos, which isn't that big of a deal as long as they don't have too much shenanigans. That's 100 damage, that is a lot of damage. I don't know why I'm like scoffing at 100, like, oh, that's not too much. It's a good amount, and they get vampire. I mean, they already had full health. Where's this guy getting down? Here, and not too much after that, except for hitting him. So I guess that is a lot. Okay, Mario, my main man, you're over here now. You can just slide attack him just to get started on something because we aren't really getting too much done right now. And then he's facing which way? He's facing that way, so if we did hide here, I wouldn't be too bad. Hmm. Rabbit Luigi is still too far off for that, so I think what's better is if we just land here. Because I don't know if Peach can run over from there. Maybe that's something I should have considered a little bit more. Because if Peach can, she cannot. So I guess she should just hide here too. Like, I mean, she could actually just do this and then heal the both of these two, and that'll be good. And then she can't do too much, but Mario can. No, because he, how? I don't see how that's the case, but okay. Whatever you say. All right, Luigi, finish this one off. It's something. Once again, hitting criticals when I don't really need you to, but critical now, critical later, what's the matter? So we have a Ziggy popping up. Once again, the Ziggy's aren't too big of a deal. I just really hate how that ruins our uh, situation. I feel like we might need a sniper. Like, if we lose this one too, I might have to like reconfigure my setup. Maybe we could go back to a Mario, Luigi, Rabbit, Peach setup. Like, that could be better. I'm not really sure though. Ouch, that hurt. Rude dude. Rude dude with the poor attitude. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. How did that hit him? I don't understand. Mm, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But I can go like this. It's just we're not having any opportunities to actually hit the characters we need to hit. So that's just not fun. Because we can chuck the ducky over. And I'll hit both of them. And I'll hit the, the more important one to hit in this situation, so that's good. Mario can't do too much more beyond just walking up to him and hoping he can hit him. Has Rabbit Luigi moved? He has moved. Ugh, this is not turning out well. Like, not at all. We just have to hope we can hit him as Mario. The hammer won't do anything. Just hit him, please hit him, please hit him. Mario, come on! Of course, of course, the only time I need him to hit him, he's not gonna hit him because that would be too easy. Just lose the chance, don't lose the actual strategy. <sighs> this is tough. And of course he lands. Cause it's like, we could barely, it's like, uh, taking care of all these enemies, I could do this all day, but the other, the problem, is that not these guys, but the boss keeps being really defensive. I just don't know how to work around it. And the only time we did, we got caught up by the guys I wasn't expecting. So maybe that's the problem. All right, well. Let's do this. And then. Where can Mario move? I mean, definitely not far enough to deal with you, right? I don't think. But we could have like Peach there. And Actually, not really. Um, hmm. Well, then maybe we'll just have Mario here. And, like, we can sit here and we can inch along, but he's just gonna keep scaring us away, so we really just need the sniper, I think. 
But we're gonna keep trying for this one and hopefully something works. I <laughs> like Robin Luigi's face is just crammed in the corner there. Hey guys. Let's get you here. And they both need healing, so I'm just gonna hope that this is a smart place to land, but probably won't be. She doesn't have the ducking. I don't think this will come useful, but we just have to try it. And he's gonna be once again in the perfect positioning for not too much bad stuff to happen to him. We can damage him a little bit more, maybe it'll do 50, that'd be good. We'll only have to hit him, you know, 20 times. We keep doing 50 damage each. All right, so we'll do a super barrier and hope we, you know, it, we would, if we get critted, it's by, uh, like, I mean, they try to crit Rabbit Luigi and then he can be uh, protected by it. Wow. Okay. And we just can't get to the guy. It's super tough. And the rest of these dudes are gonna move and I'm gonna have to focus on them or they'll take me out because they have vamp damage too. Because from there you can hit Peach. Insane. I need to change this because this just is not gonna work with our setup. Every other level did, but not this one. At best, what I want to do here is I want to jump off this dude, and it's like, right now he's facing this way, but wasn't he facing the other way before? I don't understand. Well, I'll try this and see, won't he turn around? He doesn't this time. I swear he turned around last time. I could damage boost, but does she have ducky? She does have ducky. It almost won't hurt to throw the ducky that way. So yeah, let's damage boost. Mario time, time. woohoo. And then can Rab Luigi reach them? No, he can't. Okay, have you go like here. It won't really do too much, but I think it's still good to do. Maybe, question mark? I mean, I could do this. I wish he had double team jump. Why is Luigi so far the only one with double team jump? I hope another character has that soon. This will reach to everybody but that character, which sort of still sinks, but it's what we got, it's what we're dealing with. I could try to blast you, chances are I'm not going to actually, guaranteed I won't. But once again, we're not focused on that. We're gonna throw that towards him. Just like that, bouncing and bouncing. And then we're just gonna blast him with what we have. I think we're still gonna get hit here. And the hammer won't do anything. The hammer is always one space away. Cats are meowing in the background. I don't know, there's a lot of cats going on in today's episode. And that's all we can do. Let's just hope this isn't too bad. That's not too bad unless he attacks Peach. He actually didn't. Cat, I'm not petting you right now. I'm playing the most intense game of Mario and Rabbids of all time. Ah, oh, I hate this game. I hate this game so much right now. I, I like it in general, but right now it is such a pain in the booty and I just do not appreciate it in any way, shape, or form. It's so frustrating sometimes. <laughs> I don't wanna like denounce the game because it's a fun game, but like come on, give me a chance to do something. Because all I wanted to do is slide tackle him so we could vamp damage him for once in our life. I mean, I guess I could have Rabbit Luigi here, and that way he can just use the bazooka again. And while I wanna get Peach in a position where she can damage, she needs to be able to heal, and she can't heal from here, so she needs to heal from there. And no enemies are spawning in just yet, but next turn I think that's gonna be the case. So let's just go ahead and do this. Will this hurt Rabbit Luigi? It does. Well, that that's not a good trade. Um, we're all so low on health. Oh my gosh. This guy is stinky. He's a stinky bunt. It's gonna hit all three of them too. He didn't scare him away though, which I really appreciate because we could actually get something done. Okay, good. Get you here. This actually could be a very good turn for us because that's right there, that's 110 damage. Just straight up, right away. We're gonna get Mario. Mario can't go that far, so. Oof, 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 oof. Choices, healing or damage. We need the healing, but we need the damage. Um. Oof. 
We'll get... Mm. I don't know. We'll just have Peach here. I'm trying to think. It's, it's really tough to decide. Because the thing is, she could do this, but of course, it's going to damage you-know-who. We don't want that. Um, We can do this. And then we could try landing here. It could be all kinds of bad, though. We have to brace ourselves for that. Chances are we're still gonna get taken out here. I think that it's almost guaranteed that we're still gonna get taken out, or at least one or some of our characters are. So we might just have to take it as a not perfect. But I'm gonna blast him. I wanna make him hurt. If we're, if we're gonna lose some health or some characters, so is he. Boom, hitting you with this. That was a critical too, so chances are high we could actually make something happen here. Oof. Would this finish him off? It actually would not hurt him at all. This would hurt him, but not take him out. Unless we get a lucky critical. And it would also hurt her. So what's smarter is that we do damage reduction on everybody. Make sure that Mario, ha if, he ha if Mario has his hero sight, which he does not, finish the turn. And his hope, 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 Yes, yes, we just won, we just won, we just won. Cause we can just boom, boom, boom. Perfect, baby, we won, we won perfect. Mmm, mamma mia, that's so good, it's like a taste of pizza pie. That's kinda good we got, oh. Is he done? Yes, you see ya, get out of here, go back down to the well. <laughs> get him good, Rabbit Luigi, you're Rabbit the Ocean, you're both green, sorry. Uh, he's having fun, phew. Welcome to a ragtag alliance. He seems to be happy to be here and <laughs> he's not done. Anyone who wishes to aid in our quest to make the Mushroom Kingdom whole again is gladly received. Awesome. No, we were supposed to do that in five turns. No. And we'll just do it, we'll do it, do it. Hopefully things work out. I am so nervous. Why, it's a theater. Tom Finn sure has a flair for the dramatic, doesn't he? I guess, um, beep um. Just a quick note uh, to let you know that my email was hacked. Please ignore my messages about Mr. Tom Fan as I suspected it's a trap, oh no. Though no doubt you figured that out for yourself already as I'm sure it was obvious to you as it was to me. Uh-oh, beep oh, come on, dude. So you finally decided to show up. You're just in time for the show. So who hacked the email? Was it you, Bowser Jr.? I had the bait. Bowser Jr., it was you who sent me those messages asking us to collect the relics of goodness so we could unlock the moon gate and find Mr. Tom Fan, wasn't it? I knew it all along. No, you did not. Or, well, I suspected. Okay, I just figured it out in the last 30 seconds. Tom Fan was a red herring. It was just a trap, wasn't it? Oh, he's real, all right. In fact, thanks to you, he's about to make his debut right here on this very stage. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no. Oh, I get it now. He's gonna combine all three of them. Go on now, Spawny, do your thing. Hmm, maybe you need a little encouragement. Don't hit him. Oh, you're gonna scare him, okay, that's much better. I mean, it's still awful, but poor little Spawny. Behold Tom Fan, better known as Phantom. What a pun. Oh gosh, look at you. <laughs> Phantom hogs the spotlight. He's so like, uh, magnificent, I guess, is a word for it. <laughs> you think yours is the real mustache? Who's done me a thousand wrongs ever since Donkey Kong? Slithering <laughs> down every pipe, despite his plum shaped body type. Oh, oh. rude. <laughs> Who's gonna run in fear while screaming, Mamma Mia? Who leaves me gray and grim? Oh, what does Peach see in him? <laughs> Why don't you ask her? She's right here. Mario, with great joy in my heart, 
It's time I watch Mario Kart. You're first and doing so well. But you got this tiny shell. <laughs> oh my. And now you and your Robbie friends have finally met your end. Just let me catch my breath. Then I'll arrive. See you today. Oh no. <laughs> Holy cow, that was awesome! Bravo, bravo! <laughs> okay, defeat the boss, and the, uh, we're just fighting him now. Mario does not take well to insults. He's gonna beat you up, buddy. My sensors indicate that Mr. Tom Fan or the Phantom is immune to attacks when he's hugging the spotlight. If this greedy songbird is to sing his swamp song, he, we must find a way to turn off those lights. Okay, these lights right here, huh? Can we just blast them? I'm gonna assume we can't. Looks like we also have some Valkyries going on. If I were to hop over, I, I can't land on this thing, so there's gonna be some alternative way we can attack it that's not sliding it, apparently. I mean, maybe we could, and I just, I'm not in the range for it properly, but we're gonna find out, because I'm guessing this is gonna be similar to, uh, oh, we could just blast him right now, too. Interesting. Um, Let's try it. No, he just goes through him. Okay. <laughs> so funny, yeah, with your big rump. All right, let's get you here, and, and we'll just sort of have like a V formation. With that being said, though, um, if you remember the end of the second boss fight, we had something similar. Um, I can't reach those guys up on the stage. Um, once we defeated the giant glacier monster at the, the end of the second world, we had to slide attack him to fully finish him off. I don't think we need to slide attack with this. Oh my gosh, that was not fun. But now that Rabbit Luigi's out in the open, I guess we could use, oh him to try to attack this light if we can, because we can't use weapons. It wasn't really offering that, unless we need to angle our weapons out so that, you know, like Peach Baby would try to blast somebody, but she instead blasts the weapon of the light or whatever. And, okay, luckily he missed, but he did destroy that, which is not good. Everybody's moved though, so it's our turn. Can she slide attack this? She can, okay, that's all I wanted to see, really. Um, Then we should probably have Rabbit Luigi do it. That way he can actually, ooh, actually, yeah, he can do a number of things here. He can slide attack you, and slide attack you. <laughs> Imbecile, okay, rude. Not anything else, he's a rude dude, so boom. So now we can attack him. Yeah, look at him, he's got his belly exposed. Now we can cheat him, makes sense, makes sense. Okay, so I guess he really is the Phantom of the Opera, huh? <laughs> Okay, so it's important that we attack him soon, but if we have these enemies around, they're gonna be a problem for us. Hmm. I mean, there is a defense going on, so if I attack you, does it hurt him at all? I don't think so, but if we do the other way around, it will. Hmm, I wish Mario could come out this far, that way he could hop off a rabbit Luigi and maybe land on this dude. Uh, let's do this. I don't know, I, it, because here's, oh, that was good, a critical, so it was definitely worth doing that, because he can't critical um bosses, as far as we've experienced. Let's get Mario out, where can he go? He can hop off of you, and he can't quite land on you, that stinks, that really stinks. Okay, well maybe uh, Peach can get something done with all that, but either way, these guys are gonna be persistent, they're gonna hurt us a lot. I mean, the boss can only attack seemingly one unit at a time. So we wanna use that fact to our advantage. Where does this bring us, by the way? Peach could go like that, go, whoa. Wait, no, no, I did that wrong, right? Um, Or did I? Hmm, what is, what is this little trap here? Oh, how much you wanna bet the light mechanism is gonna pop up somewhere else now? Let's go ahead and get Peach up here then, and maybe we'll get lucky and the light mechanism will hop up here. If not, Rabbit Luigi is on the left side. I can see that's where the uh, the little challenge comes in there. That's gonna hurt Mario, but I think it's worth it. It's not gonna hurt him much. He's a strong guy. I say that, but he, got, he died so much last episode. Oh no. Um. So I can't hammer, it's not gonna do anything. So we'll get this ready, I'm sure we'll use it, and then we can just try to blast this uh, Valkyrie. And once we get the Valkyries out of the way, we can focus more on the boss, and we get another critical, which is pretty good. Um, Should I damage reduce this one, dude? I don't think it's really that important, but we could get an immunity to super effects just in case he does try to attack us. Looks like there are a lot of different places his light can pop up. And we'll get this ready, just in case we need it. I don't think it'll be too helpful with the position we're in, but she's, yeah, he's probably gonna attack Peach, right? Oh no, he's gonna attack Mario! Ouch! So right now he's still, you know, out in the open, Well, I'm gonna guess at the end of the enemy's turn here, and it's gonna end up being that, oh, poor Mario. That, um, oh wow, no, I'm wrong. 
Interesting. I mean, n not me being wrong, that happens all the time. <laughs> but the other stuff. Hmm, how do I want to do this then? Maybe I could vamp attack Yoon and like then get to a more defensive position or something. I'm not really sure. Well, this will finish him off, which is great. So maybe this was a silly spot to be at. Um, but he did get some health back for it, so that's good. I don't know what he's singing. I don't know what he's saying, actually. Okay, so then Mario can, wow, he can come all the way around here. I wish we could, I guess there's no worth in doing that, huh? Well, I mean, the only hope would be then instead of doing that, I can hop off of him, finish this dude off, land here and hammer him. That might be good. And then we can potentially power boost even Rabbit Luigi and Marion. Well, we didn't, neither Peach or Mario use their hero sight, so that was definitely uh, something that was a mistake. Mario time it is. Let's go ahead and blast him. Yeah, but today's goal in today's episode, of course, we'll be finishing World 3, then we'll be going back through it. We critical Rabbit, that was actually really bad. He's really low right now. I'm gonna guess he has more than one phase. I think we gotta take him out like this, and then he's gonna have more lights pop up, and we're gonna have to deal with it that way, if that makes any sense. Let's go all out like that. Could we blast him from here? We could. And so probably, like I said, it'll um, make him pop up more lights. But yeah, we're gonna be finishing this, and then we're gonna go and go back through World 3, try to perfect everything, see how that works out. That'll be today's episode's goal. Yep, I was right, okay. So in that way, it almost works similarly to the Rabbit Kong in the way that we have to prevent him from doing something like eating the bananas, but in this case, it's you know being invulnerable. So we're gonna we're gonna die here, aren't we? Critical, but not quite death. Not quite death. The problem is that we are probably gonna die very soon. Like it's it, it feels like an inevitability right now. And if we could get some vamp damage out, oh no, they're gonna pop up this turn. Please don't move. Okay, so they didn't attack this turn. The problem is, Rabbit Luigi's not gonna be able to reach any of them, and they are in actually not very pretty spots. So I'm gonna have Rabbit Luigi hide like here. And while we're doing that is that hopefully we can get Peach over. Wow, she can't reach over there? I think we've messed up. I think I'm definitely gonna have to redo this boss fight because I don't understand why I have like this little strip I can go up here. And, hmm, because I don't see how I'm gonna get over there and protect those two. And if I can't, then maybe I should let go of the dream of doing it. Yeah, I think we gotta, we gotta restart, but we got the idea of the boss fight. We definitely got an idea of it, but we got put in a, a difficult spot there. And, and I wasn't really knowing what to expect, so we can skip this really long, but also very awesome cutscene. <sighs> Imbecile, I need tea. I wanna drink some tea. Ah, good tea. English breakfast. Okay, so we, we know what to do, we just gotta figure out the best way to do it. And I think with that being said, nobody can get around to there properly right now. So we might as well like hide back here. And then same thing for Peach. You know, she can hop off of Mario, do it a fancy way if she wants. But no need to attack him right now because it's simply just not gonna do anything effective. So we'll go ahead and end the turn. Don't wanna waste any hero sites that might not end up being actually used. Please miss. Well, he's not gonna miss because it's like a splash damage kind of thing, but it didn't do much. It did 34 damage, which really ain't too much. The only problem is that I should have hit him behind a metal block because he's gonna get guaranteed hit by this Valkyrie, and that's gonna lose him a good chunk of health. Luckily for Rabbit Luigi, he can vamp that back, but uh, in the meantime, I'm taking a bit of a beating. But once again, they missed, okay. Pretty similar happenings to last time, so we can see our opportunities. Um, hmm. I could hop off Rabbit Luigi, but once again, just like last time, won't have too much of a uh, benefit for me right now. I mean, it could. Uh, once again, we should definitely focus on uh, taking out the uh, the Valkyries first, because they're gonna keep bashing on us, it's gonna hurt a lot. I mean, the boss can only hit one enemy at a time. So I could go ahead and have you go like this, and then you can't quite slide tackle this guy. But you could get up here. I don't really know if it'll benefit you all that much. I mean, hiding here, maybe? We can at least, like, here's the thing. If we're super close to the Valkyrie and we end up not being able to take him out this turn, he tries to blast Rabbit Luigi. He's also probably gonna blast his Valkyrie, too. Hmm. 
And then Peach is way over here. She can't do a ton, but she could go right in front of this guy and just give him a good blast, and that might be good. I mean, if that's the case, maybe I should have done it from a different angle. That way I could have, uh, I mean, I think that would have been inevitable. I would have hit some of our teammates there. So, boom, let's blast you. I think I might have Peach do her thing here. And that was a critical. That's actually really good. Um, so should we do this? Yeah, sure. I don't think it'll be that bad. You over here, though, you're gonna power boost. Oh, well, actually, that's not. If that's not gonna affect Rabbit Luigi, I don't know if I do want to do it here. We might just blast him normally. Maybe get a critical. We do get a critical. That's very good. And then Rabbit Luigi, can you turn around and finish him off? Maybe nowhere close to finishing him off. But we can try it. Critical again, wow, we're getting really lucky with the criticals right now. We can lower some, we can lower damage on both of them. Well, let's do that, it's definitely worth it then. And hopefully we'll be able to get this going that um, before the shield guys show up next, we can have hopefully have that back and ready. So that hurt a little bit. It also knocked Peach way farther back than I was expecting and hoping. Wait, what is he doing? I don't know, he's doing something, but you're gone. Goodbye. <laughs> Another critical. I don't know what's with the critical chance here. If it's anything special that I'm like overlooking. What are these? Oh, he didn't have these last time. Hmm, odd. All right, I, I wanna land here though and definitely smack him with that hammer attack. Stone. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, what's that gonna do? I don't know. Oh, it stoned him. Can he do anything? Can you move at all when you're stoned? Mario, can I switch to Mario? I can't even switch to Mario. So that's actually really bad news. Because I was about to go ahead and, you know, damage boost, hammer, all that kind of stuff. Well then maybe Rabbit Luigi, could he hop off of Mario even though he actually can? I find that really funny. Okay, sorry Mario. <laughs> he can move it up to do that. Oh, and it clears him! I forgot we had that, that was the perfect strategy and I didn't even mean to. Unintentional perfect strategies are my favorite kind of perfect strategies. We're gonna land right here, heal both Peach, Rabbit Luigi, and I think a little bit of Mario. So first off, before we do anything, Mario, you're gonna have to damage boost your friends here. Now you can use the hammer move, it'll hurt your friends a good number, so that is definitely a strategic mishap, but it's okay. Because boom, we can hit you for 173, another critical. Critical after critical is really fun. Um, this won't hit anybody except for the one you wanna hit. Boom, another critical for 240. All Rabbit Luigi needs to do is finish him off here. And that'll be the first phase done without any major damage taken. Which is way better than last time where we took all the damage in the world. We gotta take care of two lights this time. And we're not in the perfect position to do that. Another problem here, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. And then as Peach, maybe I could do some damage reduction because we're gonna get hit here. We are definitely gonna get hit. We might as well be a little bit more prepared for it. He's gonna blast one of us and most likely hit all of us. So 17 to 16 damage each, not that big of a deal. It actually put Peach in a better position to take care of that light up there. So honestly, I'm not complaining. I definitely am not complaining. So I think I wanna go ahead and slide tackle. I, I mean, I can only slide tackle one enemy. So I really wanna make the most of this. So maybe I'll slide tackle you. Go like this. Get rid, I can't, oh, I can't slide, even if it's just not an enemy. So I can't do that. I need to slide tackle this, go through this pipe, land here, and definitely be able to just ruin this dude's day. Hopefully, uh, Mario and the gang can deal with the rest of it pretty well. The other light is right over here. So how do I wanna deal with that? Where's Rabbit Luigi? Rabbit Luigi's a little far off for what I wanna do. But we don't have anything to lose by blasting this guy. Maybe it'll even be another critical. It won't. Finally, a non-critical. And it's in a situation where I probably could really use a critical. So Mario can't slide attack more than one enemy right now. So do I, where's Rabbit Luigi? What can he reach from here? Not much. Not much at all. Mm, I don't like that. I don't like it one bit. Mm -mm, I don't like it one bit. Mm -mm. I mean, if that's the case, I'll, Rather have him? I mean, oh, hard to decide. How far can Mario, Mario can't run to him from here. He'd have to come at least right here. If that's the case, oh, it's so hard to decide because there's a lot of these smashers to attack right now. 
I might as well side tackle you just for some free damage. Get you here, and and I think that Mario can jump off of him, land on the uh, shield dude. I really hope. If not, I'm gonna be a little flustered. 160 damage, I always forget how much damage it does. Okay, so, can we jump off of, oh, we can't. That just seems weird. I don't know, there's something I don't like about that. Well, maybe next turn, but for right now we could hammer him for a good amount. He's available to hit now, but once again, if we don't take care of these guys, it's gonna hurt. So boom, we're gonna smash you good. Tons of damage, it even, even, yeah, it even hit him a little bit, that's fantastic. And then we'll get this ready so that if you try to move, you try to pull any moves on me, I'm gonna blast you, blast you good. And then, you know, once again, I need to, we could do that, but I don't think we need to. I'd rather focus on him. Ready for it? Hey, catch! Boom, 71 damage, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, and he got some health back for that. I don't even know if he needed the health, but once again, 40 damage. He's getting a little more powerful with each passing turn, but wait, why, he turned around now. Ooh, that hurt, but this time, this time he makes the most of it. Okay, that's good. Now these guys are gonna move around, they're gonna go on the pipe and get a height advantage. Ooh, that's actually really nasty. That is really nasty, because even though it's not like a ledge he's falling off, but that counts as out of bounds, and I gotta say, that's sort of bogus. Oh, come on, dude, come on, that's just rude. Well, you can't do anything. Ooh, Peach is gonna destroy those two. Watch this. Watch this right here. Who has more health? You have more health. Peach is sick of the both of you. She's gonna blast you. <laughs> You're gonna be blast the smithereens. You don't mess with this, this princess. You don't do it. Because she could just go ahead and ruin both of their days. And still hit him. Ooh, that is so beautiful. They set themselves up. Oh, the only thing is that we aren't getting any heals out of this because of it, and Mario is pretty low on health. But maybe if we strategically set things up for later, maybe Rabbit Luigi can uh, end up dashing somebody so that we can get the vamp on them. That would be good. Because Rabbit Luigi is definitely the best on health right now. I'm gonna have him hide here. I'm gonna have Mario. He doesn't have ability to damage boost right now. So instead, we'll have him blast him, and that should finish him off. We're doing pretty good. Yeah, there we go, there's a critical. So he's gonna get mad, he's gonna go over here, which I expected. That was an expected move. But that probably means I shouldn't have used Rabbit Luigi. Oh, what's happening? Oh, oh, oh cutscene. Who do you think you are? You should need of the star. You are nothing but a party. I find you a good role in a tragedy. <laughs> it's a midnight go, the only word you know. My heart will touch your princess's heart, and you will be put apart. No! You think you will be tournament? I send you to retirement. You saw not worth the hustle. What a, what a performance. I mean, he might be an awful fighter, but he, he's a lover of the performance arts, you know? Oh, I, that is so dumb. That is really stinking. I'm gonna get him up here and there's no enemies yet to spawn in, but they're gonna spawn in soon. I mean, as long as they don't move on the turn they spawn in, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It's sort of wishy-washy. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish the turn. I mean, if Mario gets blasted here, he sh he might actually get hurt. Maybe I should have thought about that. Oh, he's gonna damage Rabbit Luigi instead, though. It was, once again, I don't like how that works. I don't think that's fair. I mean, obviously, there's a sh there's a stage back there. And what is even happening? Oh, oh, hey, Peekaboos, please don't move this turn. Okay, heroes move, that is fantastic. What do I, how do I wanna do this? I wish there was a way to plop down here. It is difficult to move around this map. I feel like the map and the enemies are more of a challenge than the actual boss, which is just a shame. So really, I wanna blast you first. I, I need to, I need to blast you first. If I could take care of a peekaboo right now, that'd be really good. And I did, I actually didn't even need to use my side attack that I was planning on using there. Mario, though, is in a bit of a worse situation. A little bit more worse for wear. What I could do is have him do that, really simple. 
and then hope that a hammer attack, we gotta get lucky here. We gotta get real lucky. Boom, that's what I'm talking about. That's the luck I'm trying to talk about right there. Mm -mm. Okay, so Rabbit Luigi can tackle this one though. That's not a big deal. Mario's gonna have to look into um doing something. I'm gonna honestly, I might just have Rabbit Luigi go all up in his face because he has the most health right now. I need him to really do that. Okay, so Peach, you're gonna go down here and just start making your way over. I mean, what more can you do? What more is a princess to do in a situation like this? I'm not really sure. But next turn, we can really get something wild going on here. But for now, uh, that's all we got. So this is a pretty tough boss, but like I said, it's not the tough like we're used to. Okay, that's did 70 damage. Oh no, this is bad. Okay, so how can we get Princess Peach to Mario to heal him here? Is it even possible? Actually, the pipes are way shorter here. The problem is like, even then, even then, I think that our best bet, like I don't know what our best bet is. I think we need to damage boost Rabbit Luigi if we can, but we can't from here. Oh, this is tough. This is a really tough call to make. Like if I put, where's the farthest? Peach can't even go that far though. All right, let's see how far Mario can go. He can go through this pipe. I mean, they both actually exit and basically, and I still won't be able to reach. Wow, what do I do here? Mario which might guaranteed be taken out here, and I don't know if there's a darn thing I could do about it. Cause I had them two separated, which is the whole theme of the darn map. And there's the stone, so he is stuck right there. And I can't get Rabbit Luigi over there just yet. I think we're done for it. And that's super frustrating, cause we're right there. And like, it doesn't even feel like I'm doing anything wrong exactly. It just feels like I just sort of got bad luck, which is super stinky. The only thing that could really balance this out is that if I get really good luck by him not attacking Mario, but why wouldn't he? Yeah, see, it's obvious that he would attack Mario. But what more could I have done there? Not gotten unlucky? Cause like obviously I understand positioning is really important for this map, but how am I supposed to be expected to have good positioning and also maneuver around this map that has, you know, tons of different situations being thrown at me? I don't know, it's a really tough map. Cause like this guy takes not that much damage. I just, maybe it would have been better with Rapid Peach, but I mean everything else, I mean Peach has been so helpful for everything else. All right, well we gotta do it without any damage boost. All right. Let's do that. And then Peach can come over and blast him as much as she can. I mean, that's really all we can do too much. Uh, can I get this on, e on each other? That's good. And then I'll do this and that'll be helpful. And come on, can we get a critical? Boom, 155 damage. So next turn I think we could win, depending on what he does. But I don't think he's gonna be able to do too much more. Oh, oh, interesting. So his big rump gets in the way. I don't like that. Oh, and now, uh, thanks. Could've used that a little while ago. Oh, that is frustrating. Now she's over next to Mario when it's way too late. Okay. We need Princess Peach to be closer. We don't really need Rabbit Luigi to be very close. So we'll have Rabbit Luigi right here. Princess Peach will bounce off of him. Unless, you know, strategically that's not as beneficial. I mean, it is because she does not move very far. All right, and then we'll just have her here. And that should be in the red, right? Can only hope. Just about, we'll be able to finish him off here. Not here per se, but like Rabbit Luigi should be able to attack him, finish him off, and the boss fight will be over so close to being perfected. <laughs> you better cry, buddy. You better weep. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be becoming a little bit more of a comedy act now. <laughs> he snorted. Is he dead? Well, what a dramatic ending. What a twist. A battle cleared. I don't wanna see you try cheering at all, Mario, cause you could have hanged on a little bit longer, couldn't ya? And oh, look who it is, it's Bowser Jr. Um, 
What is he doing? Oh, is he pulling up his mech? He just means business. He had the evil, like, sneer going on. No. What's your name? I forget. It's Pawnee. That's it. Poor Spawny. And he's got a weird, like, it's like a mix between the Super Mario World mech and a rabbit. Oh, my gosh. And he has a big hammer. A big Moomoo hammer. The Mecha Junior. Junior's fave B-Day gift. Oh, my. When did he get this? How old is Bowser Junior? Like, five? Probably around there. Oh my gosh, look at him go. Well, it's time for a boss fight. Let's do it. So, wow, 2,000 health. He gets to move first, but obviously he ain't moving too much. Oh, he has one of those. That's usually the first time a boss has had one of those. And two supporters that have 540 health each. So this definitely, I, I'm not surprised this was actually ended up being a boss fight, Arion. Hmm. I think that we need to focus on getting rid of this thing because it's gonna hurt. It's immune to uh, criticals though, which is funny. Boom. There we go, that's good. So the thing is, is that usually I need Peach to land in a specific location, that way she can heal, she can actually like heal people. But this time, I don't because she's the only one who needs healing. So we can try this out for now. And then, move over to, I mean, maybe Rabbit Luigi should be on his own over here. Because once again, he has very good, you know, solo sustainability. Man, that, that sentence has a lot of sibilance. Um, I probably should have moved him against the block. Let's go like that, go like that, and land over here. I mean, maybe over here would be even better. And then that'll be a good start, I think. It'll heal Peach for at least 100. She does a decent job at healing herself, 103. And she could blast him like that, or like that. Or she could chuck it at, you know, Rabbit and Rabbit. It's just Bowser. Bowser Jr. I can't think of proper words for things anymore. I mean, there's so many combination type words in the Mario universe. Rabbit Mario, Mario, Mario Jr. There's no Mario Jr. There's a baby Mario, which is sort of similar. Okay, you know what? If you do, so he works as like a smasher does. If you hit him, he, he moves closer. Magnet Dance draws opponents. Chase range, six cells. So yeah, he has a chase range, which means if you hit him, he gets mad at you. Well, it's looking like it's a little too late to do anything about it, so we might as well. And then, you're probably in a pretty safe area, so we're not gonna worry about you too much. So yeah, this one's going for Peach. Like, I think, oh, oh, she critted so hard it broke the game. <laughs> what, why? Okay, so we're doing the boss fight again. The problem is I had to replay that first battle as well. Luckily, I did it better than I did last time, and so our characters are closer to being at full health. Peach has barely taken any damage. Mario's a little low, but that's okay, because we can make that work. We can, um, honestly, I wanted to do the same setup I did last time, because we were very close to doing a lot of damage to him. We landed that critical, and then Mario was gonna hit him twice, and that would've done a lot of damage. So I wanted to sort of do that again, if I can. Oh, and we had a critical there, so that thing's done for, which is really good. So I'm gonna get set up with the same idea again. I mean, obviously, only so much you can do, but hopefully it works out in a similar way because I think it has some real potential. So first off, we're gonna get Mario through first, I think. That way, maybe uh, we could get the boat set up in a... Oh no. What happened to the platforms? <laughs> okay, um, maybe they went away because I destroyed them in the last round, which is sort of silly. I mean, I just, I don't know how I can prepare for something like that. That really sort of funnel, funnels down my um, plans a little bit. Let me go ahead and just land Peach, like, I guess like, I don't know, I'd want her ahead of Mario, that way there's no way she's accidentally blasting Mario. Having her back here, does, you know, there's no uh, point in that. Yeah, well, she has like significantly less chances and oh my gosh, it stinks. I gotta be like super aware of that kind of stuff and it's hard to be super aware of that kind of stuff. Um, So we're gonna activate her hero strike and then activate Mario's Hero Strike, or Hero Sight, or whatever it's called. Does it really need to have a super fancy name that must be abided by of every moment of every day? I don't think so. And we can throw this, and not only will it hit uh, Bowser Jr. here, it'll hit his little friend too. The only problem is that, of course, he does have some defense now, but it's still good to get this if this crashes the game again. It does not. It is a critical, but it's not nearly as much as it was last time, which is a huge disappointment. I mean, Oh boy, what did he do? I guess he just stepped on her. Um. Okay. 
Well, I think we're already gonna have to restart this. He has so much health. Oh my gosh, and he does burn damage too. Yeah, Mario's already taken out. All right, well, that strategy's not gonna work. Can't believe I had to play through the, the first one twice just to find that out. I mean, I was about to get that experience the first time. Wait. Oh, that's why. It all counts as one big battle. Oh. Why? <laughs> why can't they just be two separate battles? Oh my gosh. I can't believe it does that. I can't believe that when you want to restart one, you gotta restart both. Like. That doesn't make any sense at all. Like, it really, really doesn't. It's never been like that at all for the rest of the game. It's just such a punishment. It's not like the boss itself doesn't seem to be hard enough as it is, you know? So it's just, I don't know, it's really silly. Really not so cool. I think really what we want to focus on is probably damaging that guy then. I think that's our best bet, is getting rid of these supporters. Cause I feel like they're just gonna make stuff extremely difficult for us no matter what. So we should just blast you. Yep. And then same thing with Rabbit Luigi, get rid of him if maybe we can. No, we can't, not this time. Okay, well, we can start with Mario, move him here. Luckily there's more here than there was last time, so that's nice. Um, Cause if, as long as we don't attack, I mean, how much is his movement? He has a huge range of movement, but not big enough to get the, here in one turn. So that's good. We can, of course, do what we did last time, which is uh, get Rapid Luigi over here. I think that's still good to split these three up, at least a little bit. That way there's some maneuverability and some fail safes, I guess you could say. But uh, let's uh, get Peach over here. She doesn't really even need to heal Mario, so it's not a big deal if she goes over here instead. And then maybe she can make her way through the pipe next turn, get a little closer to these enemies that we very much so need to take out. And where's she at now? Health wedge, 452, not too bad. This will not hurt. Um, I mean, I don't think it'll hurt Bowser Jr. Will he come closer as a result of that? He will not. Okay. Uh, When it comes to everybody else, I think we're gonna leave it. We don't want him to attack if he doesn't have to. This is gonna move a little closer, but not close enough for it to actually get anybody. It has one health left. Oh wow, so he actually did come after Rabbit Mario this time. Called him closer and is gonna, oof. That hurts, that really hurts. So Rabbit Luigi could get taken out this turn depending on how these guys act. Yep, he's already taken out. Holy cow, is this gonna be a tough boss fight? And now I don't feel like we're starting it because I do not wanna have to deal with that again going through the first one. I've gone through it three times when I've already successfully done it. Like, perfect. It gave me the perfect, I shouldn't have to redo it. So I'm gonna deal with what I can with two characters. If we could defeat this boss with two characters, I will be very uh, entertained with myself, but Jeez, let's just like, jeez, man. Like, he was at full health before. Boom, get rid of this jerk. And then we're gonna switch to Mario. He can't actually reach the pipe, so maybe he should. Can he reach anything from here? Uh, maybe we could just blast this guy. And then as Mario, we could blast that. Okay. And then like Mario will be out in the open, but I mean, it's really not that big of a difference from the little bit of protection he has over here. And I don't think I want him to have true sight with how Bowser Jr.'s moves around. I just really don't think I do. Cause he does also, he does not have a range attack actually. Wow, okay. I was hoping that that wouldn't happen, but even then he's not close enough, so that's really good. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Like this is so ridiculous. What is my best bet here? That guy is way over yonder. So I think that if I was Mario, I mean, maybe it'd even be smarter just to move around from this way. Yeah, I think this is smarter. Keep as far away of as to him as I can. Another good thing is it seems like he cannot fit through pipes. I really don't think he can. The thing is, is that that chase though is just so awful. We really, I don't know, I think I might actually wanna pull up Luigi here. Cause Luigi is gonna be able to keep distance better. We want characters that can keep a distance. Peach might not be helpful. Rabbit Mario not, might not be helpful because he's gonna chase them down and hit them much harder than we were able to hit him. All right, well, there's that. The problem is now he is so close to Mario. It's like it's almost just not worth it to hit him. Because what is he, he's gonna hit Mario here for sure. Yeah, he just changed his sight on the Mario. And this is gonna do how much damage here? 240, yeesh. 
I gotta get rid of this guy, though. He's just making it even harder than it already has to be. So what's the best way to do that? I'd imagine getting across to here, but then Mario's gonna get attacked again. Um, yeah, I think we gotta redo this. The problem is that the first one is so easy with Mario, Peach, and Rabbit Luigi. I don't even know if it gives you the option to change the characters. Like, it doesn't act like the normal battle would. It's so weird. Let's get across to here. And we're gonna blast this guy. It's not gonna do too much damage, but at least it's gonna vamp him. And that way Mario can get his health back. Because Mario could just blast this guy right now. <laughs> he stands up nice and tall. Uh, 79. So Mario can skedaddle over here. And... and how far, you can't, well I mean, if I hide like here, you won't be able to reach. So we'll go ahead and go this far out. And hope that, yeah, no, he can't reach. I don't think he should be able to, but we'll have to see. And that's it, we're not gonna do hero sight on him here. Maybe if he was on like the other side of the map, yeah, he'd rather move towards Peach, which is not, he's not quite close enough until he does that move. That's sort of the thing, it's like, the map's not big enough for this dude. I understand, it's supposed to be probably one of the last boss fights here, I don't think it's the final boss fight. I mean, maybe it's the final boss fight. That'd be really weird if there would be that short of a world four. I mean, hey, that'd make it easier for me, but I mean, it's not always about being easy. Um, but I understand that that's why it's so difficult, but I just don't like the unconventional wishy-washiness of it. Of, you know, oh, hey, this is how the game normally works, but we're not gonna make it work that way this time for no real reason. I really don't like it when games just decide to do that for no reason, like it really bothers me. Um, but as Mario, we can move over here. He's a little too far away to get anything too much done here. So after this, we'll have this supporter gone, and we can focus purely on Rabbit, or not Rabbit, just Bowser Jr. I wonder if he'll get turned into a rabbit. That'd be funny. We see a little Rabbit Bowser Jr. pop around. So, this turn, where is he? He is over here. Oh. I think our best bet is really just not to mess with him too much. Next turn, we'll really mess with him, but this turn, hopefully he can like move over here and yeah, just like do something not too special. Yeah, okay, that didn't, no, it did call her over. Not enough to hit her though, right? Please, please, wow, really? What are you gonna do? Okay, don't hit her, thank you. Okay, geez, Louise. Um, Can Mario reach this pipe over there? He can't, and she can't reach that pipe over there. This is like, <laughs> not meant to be. The problem is like, if I go like this to Mario, oh no, she'll hop around him. Okay, that's what I need. Knight in shining armor. No, it did! What the heck, the pathing said it wouldn't! The pathing said it wouldn't! What was that? The game is lying to me! The pathing said it would not do that! What the heck is wrong with this game? Like, holy cow! Like, it literally showed that it would not do that, and it was like, oh, I'm gonna do it. It's just like, then you lied. Then it's not even strategic, it's just pure luck. Oh my gosh, that is infuriating. Like, it wouldn't be half as infuriating if, you know, it's just like, oh, okay, I'll, I just will have to redo the boss fight again, but I don't have to just redo the boss fight. I have to redo the thing before this, too, and it's just, I only have 24 hours in a day. <laughs> okay, come on, at least, like, look at how much damage we can do when it's like this. Yeah, you jerk. And he's probably gonna hit us here. He's definitely gonna hit us here. He, yeah, he's gonna take us out right now and we're gonna lose. Unless that gets us away, now we just lost. Yep. What the heck? The game like double, triple duped us. That's our first time getting like a proper game over. I think. I feel like the game duped us. Like I feel like it said this will happen. I trusted it and that didn't happen. I'm getting really good at that at the least. Two out of four. So I can skip this cutscene, defeat mid-boss. I think I do have the chance to change my characters, but it's like, obviously he recognizes this as a second battle, but wants me to do both as one. And I don't know if that's an oversight? I don't think it is, um. When we prepare for battle, I'm gonna change my team up a little bit, if I can. Team selection, I think we're gonna do, no, we're gonna do this. And if we go back in, oh no, no, I don't need to go back in, but if we go to our weapon selection, I got a lot to change here because I know that, I think, Rabbit Peach could probably use an upgrade. Like, this is honey. Against Ziggy's. Okay, actually then, if it doesn't do any more damage, then I don't care. Um, 
Right now this is 80 to 90. If we could get any kind of increase on that, we can get some major increases on that. So we get to choose between honey and push. Let's just do honey because it's more reliable. If we do the Luigi then, the same thing. Um. Okay, Um. should be fine then. If we check out, yeah, Luigi here and Okay, we got what we got then. I don't think we could do too much better than that. So, now we need to go back to the skill tree, and Rabbit Peach has so many upgrades. So she can get four dashes, and they can be all 100 damage each, which is really good, that's 400 damage per turn, depending on the enemies available. We could upgrade her health, we could upgrade her movement range. I think most importantly, if she has any heals, we can upgrade Mega Heal, Body Parry, Shield Cooldown, Heal cooldown, okay. So upgrade this as much as we can, and then upgrade, oh, we can't upgrade our heal cooldown. Okay, let's upgrade our heal range, and that's a decent combo of stuff. Now when it comes to Luigi, we can either upgrade his slide attack, we can upgrade his high ground bonus, which will not help us here, because there's no high ground. I think mostly for him, he needs more health. He has next to nothing, so plus extra 40 health is gonna make a world of a difference. So let's try that. I know I've been trying much of Rabbit Yoshi, but I just feel like he's, you know, he's joined our team so late in the game that I just haven't had the time to practice him at all. So, maybe this does not work out. Um, we'll try something different with Rabbit Yoshi. But for now, I think this is what's gonna work. Of course, he gets to move first, because he's a goody two-shoes. And it's gonna be tough to figure out what to do right away. But I think that we need to avoid using our shots on that thing, because as long as we uh, manage it, we should be fine with avoiding it. Everybody here has full health. So I could even power boost everybody. The problem is, is that I don't think that we can even get into a position where we can properly attack most enemies. Um, I'd even maybe think that Luigi should get around, just back up here. And this is the farthest he can be from Rabbit and Rabbit. I don't know why I do that every time. From Bowser and at this very moment. And if that's the case, maybe we should get some of this going on. Boom. I don't know, that might've been a huge regret right there. And we're gonna find out sooner or later. Probably sooner rather than later. Just so we can deal with it. Because the worst part is being about to win and then getting ruined. You know? Like, I know we need to do damage to these supporters, but we're just not in the best position to. From here, though, we can at least damage one of them. So let's do that. Gotcha. Okay. So. The first thing we'll do is that if we want to, who do we want to hit with this? We can either hit, we only have two choices here. We might as well try to smack you, then boom, we get a 152, and it hits his friend over there. Okay. Oh, he hurt himself. Oh, look at that. That's the key, huh? Is to uh, hit him like that, okay. I can't believe we can't hit a, I can't believe that. Thanks game, that makes no sense. Sometimes it's like, I don't know, it's so unreliable like that. I feel like sometimes, you know, we can peek around weird positions like that, and sometimes we just can't. Um, Weapon damage reduction, I don't think we'll need that. Mario can't really hit anybody here, so we might as well just try to destroy destroy, <laughs> destroy this guy's shield a little bit. I can't speak, I'm just flabbergasted at the difficulty of this game. Maybe he'll be dumb and move somewhere else, he won't. So Luigi's gonna lose almost all of his health immediately. He might actually just get taken out right here, right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So far, I mean, it's good because Rabbit Luigi, I mean, just Luigi, hasn't taken damage and actually looks like he will not. Holy cow. But if we want that to stay a fact, we need to either get Luigi over here. And I guess that's the best way to do it, is to get Luigi like here. And I guess the most defensive spot for him to be is like here. And Get him like that. Have Rabbit Peach heal as many people as she can. Wow. All right. Heal you guys up. If that's gonna be the case, then let's get Mario into frame here. We will slide attack you. We will uh, hop off of Luigi, jump off of that, land over here. Boom. And we'll be able to take care of his little goons this turn, I think. Boom, and hopefully that's in range of the heal. I mean, if not, oh well. Like, can Rabbit Peach, it can re she can reach both of the boys. Boom. Okay, that's actually a ton of healing, holy cow. I didn't think it was gonna be that much. I'm a little blown away then. 
Where can we get her that might be beneficial? I mean, the thing is, is that Bowser Jr. is really far away right now. If we could find a way to make this work, that'd be really good. So boom, slide attack you for 100 damage is really nice. Oh, I wish this could damage you more, but it's what we got. Okay, Hero Sign, this might be the biggest mistake in my life. Steely Stare. Get rid of you. And there's a critical. Come on now. Um, Blast you like this, because he has such a long way to walk here. And boom, you're going to start moving. Luigi's going to blast you again. Boom. 140. Mario's going to... Oh no, he's not going to hit you. I guess you really still weren't in range. Because I think his running range and his chase range are two different things. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Oh, it's gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> he's still kicking though. No, he's not. No, he's not. Never mind. Luigi's dumb. Not dumb. Done. <laughs> he's not dumb. He held down a lot there. Oh my gosh, though. Come on. We could just smack you with a hammer right now. So tempted. So tempted. But it's not worth playing that game in this. You do not want to play the go, get up close, because if I wanted to play that game, I would have picked Rabbit Mario instead. And what instead, I need to keep some distance. I'm gonna, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna hit him like this. And we gotta play, we gotta play monkey in the middle. That's really the, the goal here. I don't think he'll turn and hit Rabbit Peach. I don't think it works that way, but he will kick her off, which I should have thought about a little bit more, huh? Okay. Well, then I should do that. I should get this shield up. And that'll do 155. This'll do 225, but it will guarantee. Like, I don't know. I should have uh, moved Rabbit Peach first then. That'll do so much damage out. 234 is great. Okay. And you will attack this turn. So this is going to turn out really bad. But still, Rapid Peach's heal is a lot more than I thought it would be at this point in the game. I didn't think it was gonna be that, you know, effective. He's real low though at 655, but that's the end of Rapid Peach's story. Mario's gonna have to do that 655 all on his own. All by myself. But that's fine, honestly, I couldn't care less as long as we survive it. Just what's the best way to survive it is the big question right now. I have to go through this pipe. I'm almost tempted to not attack him this turn. I'm almost tempted, yeah, to play this, like if I, if I'm already not getting a perfect. So I might as well play the super long game, which includes him going all the way over here. And, oh, he's gonna call me over. Is that gonna be close enough though? This game sometimes, holy cow. Um. Whew, the decisions are real rough. Real rough and tough. We're gonna empower. We are going to run over here. And this should be a decent distance, decent enough for me to land a shot on him and then him be able to run over but not be able to and totally make it. He just used his one power. So, boom, bam, 204. And there's nothing more I can do here because it turns just automatically and I switch to him. And we'll actually, he, he can walk that distance. So we actually might be done right here. Depending on if he gets like a crit or something. He doesn't, but he should that hurt. It's just you can't get away from him quick enough. He's just too quick, he runs too far. Like I can run through here and the best way to do it is to play a good round to keep away, but that's so hard to do with the initial two uh, supporters. If the two, initial two supporters, I guess they're not their supporters are Valkyries. The initial two Valkyries weren't there, then yeah, this would be a different story, but it isn't. So our best bet here and He has, four, he has 451 health. We could win, potentially. Can I go into, no, 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 Tacticam. This is, how much damage, 135 damage. We hit him for 100 damage. This does 135 damage, that's 235 damage. And then we get our true strike, that'll be 400. It might work. If he can hit more than the average of 100 per shot, which he should, I'm sort of lowballing it just in case, we could win right here. First, activate this. Then, 
shoot him and not the bomb, because that'd be silly. Boom, shoot him. There's 157 damage, that's a good start. 157. Two, almost 300. Boom, just like that, we win, yes! Get out of here, you stinker! Yeah, your toy's broken, and you're not gonna get a new one. It was a limited edition, there aren't any more, you broke your toy. I feel bad for saying that, but at the same time, he was so mean. Uh-oh, are you gonna save him? Save him, quickly, you're not gonna save him? Then we're gonna save him. Oh, Yoshi, he's finally here, we saved him. Yay! Ah, the famous Yoshi! And with Spawny no less, Fortune has finally smiled upon us with a happy little Yoshi. I don't know how to make the Yoshi noise, sorry. Uh, but we have no time to celebrate. Bowser Jr. could be back any second. We need to get the Spawny out of here now. So, Yoshi, is it true you have your own island? Oh, of course he does. Whoa, what's happening? Are you, you okay? Stand back, don't frighten him. You're the one who's closest, dude. Spawny, are you all right? I can't believe we have Yoshi. That's like the best way to turn around the, uh, the the bitterness I have right now. Yes, well, we're glad to see you too. Yay, We hopefully he understands that we saved him. Oh, ah, uh, well, I suppose you have unleashed a swath of awe-inspiring destruction across the Mushroom Kingdom, thanks to your reckless handling of the Super Merge. Oh, don't be mean to him. Er, um, but as colossal disasters go, this was not so bad. Let's see here, um, the positives are, um, hmm. Oh, yeah. Yes, the Sherbert Desert was cool, plus now we all know how to spell Sherbert. <laughs> Boy, was that a surprise. Yeah. I feel so bad. Mario and the gang is being so supportive now. Okay, we did it! <laughs> the humor of this game is crazy. That is probably our worst score we've ever had for anything. But I'm just glad we completed it, oh my gosh. Okay, and wow, it's just gonna dump you right into the next battle. Whoa, whoa! It's it. Uh, what? Hold on, Wario and Blah Luigi corrupt caricatures? I thought we did the mid boss. You can't just dump this on me, game. <laughs> Holy cow! Wow, that's insane. They're just here. Okay, I gotta take a second. You know, take this in a little bit. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got a Valkyrie. A Valkyrie, a Smasher, um, Boario, and Boaluigi. It says defeat all. Oh, yeah, and there are six enemies here. And then another Smasher. So actually not too strong, 800 and 1,000. I mean, I guess that's 1,800 in total. <laughs> They're so cool. Um, So what do you have? You have four cells of movement, you're, you can't move very far. And you have melee, yeah, you are a melee only character, it looks like, and then you have the Rumble Bang. Okay, I like him. I find it funny that yeah, La Waluigi is usually the taller one, but he's usually the skinnier one, and Wario is usually the fatter one. That's why his belt looks like it's so oversized there. That's funny. I love that. What's funny is that we see these, you know, Wario, Waluigi, and Donkey Kong rabbit forms, but we never see the original characters in this art style. I would love it if that changed. So we definitely need to change some kind of combination up here. I don't think we need Rabbit Mario for this one. He did his dues. Maybe we could. I know I've been trying to stick with you know the Yoshis today, but this might actually prove to be quite difficult. So who has health here? I mean, maybe we could try this combo again. I mean, we're gonna get like a 300 heal right off the bat. So we'll just make sure that if Rabbit Peach can do anything more when it comes to her heal. Uh, I wish she had 15 more orbs. All right, well, we'll hold on for that because I think that would be good to have a one cooldown here heal. Uh, let's start. First thing is we're gonna have a Peach heal everybody. Boom. Mario's at 329, which isn't, you know, game breaking. This music, it's crazy. All right, so it is music we've heard before, but it's sort of like a like a scarier mix of it. Hmm. Now typically I have Mario out and about a little bit farther and a little bit more, but because of the unprotectiveness of everything else going on here, I just don't feel as comfortable with it. Might even wanna have like a, you know, her like right here. And then we can set our per sentry, so maybe that's getting some more stuff done. So yeah, we could do something like that. Let's see how much this packs a bunch. Ooh, oh, it's not even gonna hit that smasher, which is maybe a good thing. Oh, it, wow, it did a critical honey tune. So, Yoshi, where can you really go now? Yoshi, where'd you go? Over here, I don't know. All right, let's try that. Maybe this is an awful mistake, but it might not be. Boom. Actually, will the, 
The Smasher doesn't get mad about that. So Mario can either do, let's let's do Hero Sight. All right, a Mario now, hey, okay. Oh, let's actually blast you. Boom, this could be good. Okay, actually, wasn't expecting the honey, but that might end up being better for me. Let's get rid of this Valkyrie to start things off. There she is, so cute. Wow, so much damage. Not enough to take the guy out, but soon enough, we got a lot of these guys critical. So, you're a smasher. I'm gonna expect you to do the normal chasing smasher things. Yep, okay, that's gonna hurt. Ouchies, and you're honeyed. Oh, the double. And then I'm guessing Wario's gonna do something. Oh, okay, that might be good or bad. He's honeyed now, so. Oh, he doesn't hit very hard at all. Oh, but he has. Oh, okay, so many hero shots going on all over the place. It's crazy. Oh no, Yoshi, hold on. <laughs> He's still somehow alive, holy cow. I don't know who I wanna attack here. Um, well, I think it's definitely important that we get Mario up here. And, and can he hop off for Yoshi Pell? Of course he can't. Of course he can't. I mean, we could try to go all in here and, and just try to like take care of one of these bosses. It would be super risky and mostly a dumb idea. But I'm all about risky and dumb ideas. Oh boy. Well, I'd rather this than I guess Yoshi. He doesn't really hurt that bad, actually, compared to some of these other characters. So we could power boost. I could um, do this. Boom, oh, it was a critical honey as well, which is very good. We can get Rabbit Peach through here. She can slide attack and slide attack. And then I guess just totally blast this dude. Like, I think Yoshi's gonna get taken out here no matter what. So we might as well bring it to everybody else. Um, we're definitely gonna activate her damage reduction shield. That'll be great. Man, I'm having a lot more fun this episode than I was last. I, like, I was having fun last episode, but the game was definitely pulling some crazy shenanigans on me. So I'm definitely enjoying things a little bit more now. So I could either take him out or blast a group of these guys and do some decent damage. But I don't know if that's really the best idea, especially when I could get really close to taking this guy out. Ooh. Close enough. He's gonna get mad, but that was gonna happen anyways. The only problem is that Mario might actually get taken out here as well, depending on how much damage he does. He actually can't move. No, he can do that though! Holy cow, I forgot! Ah, oh, and it was a perfect 149, 149. Oh yeah, and I forgot about Yun. So now Rabbit Peach is on her own, the poor thing. Oh, but he hurt his teammate there, it's funny. And I think she has her heal now, which is just funny, but also awful. I don't think she's gonna be able to do this on her own, but we're sure as heck gonna try. Okay. Um, Look at these two just sitting there knocked out. Yeah, she still doesn't have her heal. Okay, holy cow. Who should we attack then? I mean, where's Rabid Warrior? I mean, we gotta attack, we gotta get rid of everybody here. I don't wanna get too far ahead of myself. That would take him out and that would be pretty good because I can't take him out with the slide. Because we can take Rabbit Waluigi and the smash around. Okay, so there's a Rabbit Warion. Hmm, so we could do this, this, and even that. And then I guess like hide here? I mean, I wish I could use their unconscious selves to get away. But no matter what, I cannot get away here. So I might as well just go for the distance game. That way, um, Wario can hit me, but none of the other guys can hit me. Oh, I mean, the Valkyrie might be able to hit me, but the Smasher is definitely not reaching me in time. And then we could just slide attack him next turn. That's gonna hurt, but not enough to take me on. We could very simply win this, depending on the situation. All right, so you heal yourself. You still don't have your heal. Okay, we, we might have lost then. Never mind. Uh, revert all my previous statements. Uh, re release a press release that uh, shows that I'm always wrong. Zebra is always wrong. That's the given rule of the universe is that Zebra's always wrong. <laughs> Rabbit Peach walks out, it's like, you guys put all the weight on me. I caused this team to be what it is and you let me down. Uh, okay, we could do that better. We could do that better. I just sort of threw myself into it. I think, well, we could skip that because we've already seen it, even though it is a very cool cutscene. Um. Let's fight. No. Yeah, we'll try it, we'll try it, we'll try it. I think that maybe if we just had a better strategy, 
with the characters we have, it could clearly work because we got very close to making it work how it was. I mean, maybe if we just took things a little slower, maybe not make Yoshi jump up there right away and get him, you know, make him receive a ton of damage. That might be a big mistake we made. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not confirming nor denying anything. Who can we hit? You're not really, no, no guarantees. Hmm. I could start annoying the Smashers and then maybe that'll be worth my while. Um, since we can't really guarantee we'll actually be able to hit anybody here, we might as well just get over here. And, well, I just, only problem there is that I don't want uh, him to destroy a bunch of barriers, so that might be better. Oh, it really, you just really do not want to bounce with uh, Yoshi unless you want to do optimal damage. Hmm, maybe we'll just do that. Or I could hit him way over, no I can't. It's too much of a vision blockage. Well, if we're gonna do that, then we're gonna go ahead and also true strike him. And then we're gonna move back to Yoshi and we're gonna give him the egg beater. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit Yoon. I mean, maybe it would have been, okay, no, that was, wait, that didn't hit the smasher? It said it would. Once again, this game, again, this game's duping me. What happened? Okay, it just sort of froze up for no reason. Wait, what? Yeah, what happened there? That was supremely bizarre. It said it was gonna hit the smasher, and then it didn't. And then it just froze up for a little bit. I feel like there's a glitch going on there. That's really weird. He does not move much at all, does he? All right, maybe this was a mistake, but Yoshi's gonna beat him up. Mario's gonna beat him up. Okay, no, it wasn't a mistake, because now we can just slide tackle that dude. Mario's gonna hit him again, honey him. No honey that time, that's scary. But that's it. Okay, we can make some of that work. All right, that hurts a little, but it's it's not you know a life ruining situation. That 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 was a little much, huh? Oh come on, stop beating up Yoshi, you meanies! Oh gosh, he is so low now. Okay, Mario, can you damage boost? You cannot damage boost Yoshi from here. Um. Hmm. Well then, I might get you like. I guess here, I mean, yeah, you could just go here and hammer this dude. Oh, oh, okay. The slow motion shots are never fun, especially now that he's frozen. That ain't good. All right, do that. He can't use his one move now. I was gonna have him damage these people. Okay, that's fine, because Peach could do this, do that, hop off of Yoon, and then I guess even land up here, and that wouldn't be too bad. Let's try that out. Boom. Boom, and hop. Because now, we got some options. We have some options for sure. Because I could, as Mario, damage boost. It won't damage boost Peach, unfortunately. Yoshi has not moved yet. So Yoshi could slide attack him, take him out, hop up here, and then land like as far as he can over here. Which seems to be right here. The problem is that it's gonna hit um, Rabbit Peach a little bit, but that's not the end of the world, and the blocks do not guard that damage at all. It will have everybody else though, which might be good, might be bad. It's really hard to say right now. Ugh. That doesn't make Smashers mad though. It's not the kind of damage that does anger Smashers. So, who do I want to attack you? Once again, if Yoshi's gonna get taken out, maybe first we should super effect chance 100%, and then we should just blast you. Smithereens, man, to smithereens. Look at how much damage that was, that was insane. And you're gonna get smashed? Oh, you're not because you're inked? Perfect. All right, well, you're critted. Even though you did not need to be critted, you got critted. Okay, so finally, Rabbit Peach can move. She cannot take him out. Yeah, so if he's inked, I mean, I don't think any of these enemies have clearing jump. Maybe we could just ignore him this turn then. I don't really know how that works. But there we go, we're down to two enemies now, just to two bosses. But he can't make the move, yeah, he can't do it, because he's like, oh, I'm burping, and Yoshi's dead. Sorry, Yoshi, I guess you're not dead, you're just knocked down. A little too morbid for this game, I understand. Um, I would cry my eyeballs out if Yoshi died. Luckily, he will not. Um, so, yeah, I definitely want to go ahead and get that cooldown fixed for, um, what's it called? for a rabbit uh, peach here. I want definitely her to have 
a better cooldown. So can he go up the pipe? He can. He can't do anything much more than go here and probably smack you with a big old hammer, which ain't too bad. So, hit you with a big old hammer. What are we waiting for? Oh, boom! Okay, so when it comes to the rest of this, I don't know, we're in a bit of a dire strait, I'd say. I wish we could choose a trajectory. I almost shot that, that would have been very angering. If we're gonna give something to him, we might as well give him the thing that's gonna hurt and hope that it gives honey as well. And honey, yeah, there we go. And then you're just gonna stay there, you're gonna hang out, you're gonna blast Mario. Not enough to take him out. Once again, he has a very weak hit. The problem now is that she still doesn't have her heal. Man, does that thing take forever. Do that, get rid of you. So we will be able to survive this. Definitely no perfect. Somebody has to get your true strike stricken. <laughs> so might as well be uh, Rapid Peach here. But this actually isn't too bad. Honestly, the, today's episode has been less challenging than the previous episode for one reason or another. Hop off of you for 150, land here, and, whoop, yep, hey up, and then we will, well, we could do this right now. Boom, 174, he has literally one up. Literally one. And if that's all we can do, that's all we can do. And the turn for him to move. I was hoping that, uh, oh, well. Okay, thanks. I mean, I guess it was the smartest move to make, but it's also just the silliest for me because I'm still gonna win just with one less character. Hopefully we all get the heals, though. Hopefully we can all get a heal, and this is the end of this 4-7. Uh, we'll have to see, but I just I can only hope. Oh, they're mad, they're not taken out yet. Oh, <laughs> did they scare each other? What? <laughs> Maybe they thought they looked in the mirror and ran away. I, I have no clue. That was sort of weird. Do we see them again? Are they done? I don't know. <laughs> that is Malar. Oh, you guys are back? I don't even want to hear it. Oh, hello? Who, who are you? Um, hi. Um, romance. Lava Queen <laughs> blows her stack. Who is this? I don't know. I'm weirded out. I can't believe that wasn't a perfect. Three turns, are you kidding me? <sighs> silly, silly stuff. Okay. Um, What am I looking at here? Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know you could look at it this detailed. Um, I mean, there's really not anything I could do here. We haven't gotten any more orbs, so I just need to settle on what my team is gonna be. What if I do instead the princess team. Maybe the princess team is what I need here. Mario needs all the princess love he can get right now. And what I mean by that is heals. He needs heals. And so does Rabbit Beach, so boom. And then, so let's also take a look at our surroundings. So we got another you know, fight with these guys and the Lava Queen, apparently. We got the Lava Buckler over here. He's not gonna be fun. We have to defeat everybody, by the way. Lava Ziggy, Lava Hopper, Lava Ziggy, well not that's obviously Ziggy I looked at before. Lava Supporter. And then we got Buario, Bwaluigi, and then Lava Queen. Lava Queen has a Rumble Bang and a Scaredy Hero. Which is interesting, there's a Scaredy Hero and a Magnet Dance on their team. I I'm expecting them to mess that up at some point. So we could actually have some characters retreat up here. So maybe that's where if we did have Yoshi, that'd be a good place to put him. I'm gonna have Peach go here, because that's gonna be some easy heals for uh, the rest of the gang. Mariam, where can we put you, buddy? I mean, you could actually, ooh, okay, not bad over here. Get you over here, and, oh man, if this one thing wasn't taken out, yeah, we're still on the same map, too, which is the craziest part. Okay, so do that, because sure, why not? So we could really get Rabbit Peach somewhere super far here. So I think I'm gonna hit him with a hammer. We're gonna hit you with a hammer. Boom. Oh, wow. Wasn't expecting that one. Won't be enough to take him out, but Rabbit Peach can now go up there and slide tackle you, finish you off, go through the pipe, hop off of Mario and like land here. 
It might be a bit risky for her to land here. So maybe here would be better? Yeah, here might be better. Cause with that, this music is so silly. Um, She could, I'm determined to get this right. The princess team all the way right now. That won't, oof. I, oh man. So like I can either take take out the Ziki right now. I mean, if he has that little health, is it really worth it? I think we definitely just need to never mind the bosses as much as we possibly can. Do this, hope it works well. I mean, if not anything else, it'll also remove his shielding almost. One more shot, it will. So who can we rubber ducky here? Well, we could do that. Yeah, let's do that, that might be good. Boom, good. Obviously, it's not game changing, but it's good enough. We'll get the Royal Gaze, which might end up hitting Rabbit Peach, I hope not. And then we'll get you with your hero sight. And that's everything we can do this turn. Not the best ever. That will hit her. Gosh darn it. <laughs> okay, well we got one more hero sight shot, depending on who that lands on. And of course you had the heal, so yeah, let's hit you good. 157, so we might be we should be able to take you out this upcoming turn. And then you're gonna move over here and you're gonna blast Mario. And so, so far, Rabbit Peach is the one who's gotten the most damage. And then, of course, we just had the bosses. She has seven, I don't know what she's gonna do, like. I mean, obviously, I guess we already do. She's gonna do that, but, um. Oof, poor Rabbit Peach right now. That's just awful. So, I got a lot of options, but not a lot of good options, I think. Um. I think we need to power boost with what we have. It's not much what we have right now, but we need to do it. So there's a guy up there and there's a guy up there. The problem is that we don't really have a guarantee with either of them. If Mario was to hop off of Rabbit Peach, she, he could get up here, and, but then we've totally wasted our, and, well, I guess I could, oh, okay. Some options, some options. Cause if I do this, yeah, I could attack him, or I could attack him, get rid of him. There you go. Seems a little convoluted, and I won't deny it sort of is, but what are you again? You're a hopper, which is like, a solo hopper really isn't that scary? Unfortunately, there's not too many options for Rabbit Peach here, except to maybe like, hide? Movement, heal, shield, sentry, blaster, lock. So right now she can't hit him, but if she were to hide like here, she could. I'm getting better at using that and that's really helped me out. Oh wow, oh wow. I should have activated her shield first. Cause she's just taking so much damage now. What is she at? 70 health, not pretty. Let's go ahead and shield up. Poor thing. Okay, I just want her to hit Yoon. And then Peach still has not done anything this turn. So actually maybe Peach could have, maybe I should have uh, factored Peach into this a little bit better. Yeah, I probably should have known them in hindsight. But of course, hindsight's always the best kind of say. Hindsight's 2020, that's how that saying goes. Okay, maybe, <laughs> what was that? So, 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 He's like a, he sounded like a lawnmower that starts up but doesn't entirely start up and you, like, you pull it and it's like Silly. Boom, 231, make that smasher mad. He ain't gonna do nothing about it though. That's all we can do. Peach hasn't gotten like, uh, like anything on her. Well, there goes Rabbit Peach. Right? Yep, all right, well that might have been a huge mistake. Can we redo this battle? I actually don't even know. I, I think we have to try to find out the hard way because I just don't know right now and I don't want to find out the, like I don't want to just restart hoping and then, you know, still have a slight potential of winning here. I mean, to be honest. So, it's our turn to move now. We're not in the best of shape. What if I just attacked her right now? It wouldn't do a ton. It would do more damage than the ducky though. Maybe I should just try it and get her to safer spots. Boom. Okay, well you're frozen now, so that should help a little bit. And when it comes to you, Marion. Um, how much health does she have? How much health does Mario have? They're about the same when it comes to danger right now. They're both in dangerous spots. Maybe I could get Peach like here. Yep, that's 60 more damage which is great. I'm just trying to find out who can I take out here, you know? The problem is that I still can't really get very far. It's, it's not a good position to be in over here. Then I'll get, I guess I'll get Mario here. 
and then I will just blast this guy to get rid of him. If we could get rid of these little minions faster, that would be a lot easier. All right, well, you're gonna move. You're not gonna be able to do much this turn. I'm not worried about you. You are getting lower, but you are gonna give Peach a piece of her mind, or your mind. I mean, Lava Queen versus the Princess. Eesh, sounds like an intense battle. So I'm just gonna get, I gotta move one of these guys first, and I think uh, maybe it'd just be better to move you first, Marion. Hmm. Well, then I'm gonna move him, I don't know though. Ooh, it's so hard to decide. It's so hard for me to decide right now. This wouldn't do anything to her. But I need to heal, like I need to heal everybody. So, I mean, I could try, you know what, I could try. I know this isn't the best for protection for Mario. And he's gonna get attacked anyways, I guess. But we really need to do damage to that Lava Queen. So we're gonna activate this. Hee <laughs> hee. And then Peach is gonna jump off of Mario and what are, what are her extensions to her heal? This won't heal him, but this will. So we're gonna do that. I mean, it's more important that Peach heals herself than Mario, but it'd be good to get both. And then just full on get rid of this guy. Goodbye, or girl, okay. Sorry, uh, I try to stay respectful even in the face of the most disrespectful foes we've ever gone against, so hitting you won't do anything, so I might as well just smash this dude right in the face. If we're lucky, he'll get honeyed, and we don't have to use our hero strike against him. So you'll move, right? I hope, well first you're gonna blast her, which stinks, but yeah, here we go, now we get to show her a piece of our mind. And then you move too, huh? No you don't, I mean, okay, you didn't get honeyed, but we tried, we definitely tried. Poor Peach here, luckily she can freeze herself. Okay, Mario, you're gonna hop off of her, hop off of her, and then probably turn and finish her off. Let's try that. Boom. Mario's not gonna get healed out of this, so maybe that was a huge mistake, but I mean, actually, it depends on where we get Mario or Peach to land here. Peach can go this far and still be able to heal, but the problem is I need to do more than just healing. So let's get him here. I mean, Peach needs, once again, Peach needs to heal anymore. The problem is, will she receive more than 100 damage worth of uh, pain here? I don't know. Ooh, boom, 233. Not perfect, but a lot better. Hit you with the hammer. So will we be able to do this? Maybe, would have been easier with Rabbit Peach? Absolutely, are you kidding me? <laughs> what kind of question is that? So now it's just these two, and we, we've dealt with these two before, and in pretty bad situations. Oh my gosh, you done goofed, buddy. You just done goofed. The only problem is that I cannot clear Peach from here, so we won't. Um, We will empower. I can't believe he took out his own brother. I guess we should, no, we should blast him like this first. Get out of here, you jerk. 238. And then, yeah, you're gonna hurt me. It's gonna. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Let's talk about this. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's have a casual conversation. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna blast you, and it's gonna hurt. I hope. Oh yeah, I'm gonna blast you, and it's gonna hurt. You messed with the wrong Mario. <laughs> that was the most ridiculous combination of things that could have ever happened. She really likes Mario. See you, Lava Queen. Never saw you before. Maybe I'll never see you again. But an interesting experience nonetheless. Oh no. Here we go. It is the final boss, I think. I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> oh my gosh. He really is gone crazy with his lair nowadays, hasn't he? I wonder what it's gonna look like in Odyssey. 4-9 Bowser's Castle. Oh my. Look at this place. Bowser, uh, Mario is determined. Hey, hey, you gotta help my papa. Hi. He could have licked that thing himself, but something happened to him. We're too late then. We should return to Princess Peach's castle and marshal our, our, marshal our, and marshal our forces. No, please, I'm sorry about before. I know it's all my fault. Uh-oh, what's happening? Oh no. You ain't looking so good, Bowser. No, uh-oh. Um, Did he just beat the final boss for us? Or did, is he, 
Oh no, they can bind. What is this? Bowser is possessed. What in the world? He's like an actual dragon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is like right out of Mario's nightmares. Oh no. <laughs> it is Mega Dragon Bowser, all one huge word. Wow. Defeat the boss, what an icon. <laughs> it's a funny looking icon to be honest with you. So we should be at full health. So we don't have to do easy mode here. I sure hope not. So we just have to defeat the boss. This is just, we're at the final boss, guys. So let's go into our tactic cam and check this out. The Mega Dragon Bowser, 1600 health points. Actually isn't too bad. Um, villain Sight is 100 to 100 damage. So when we when he does Villain Sight, he'll hit us for 100. Area movement is 20 cells, which is huge. Rumble Bang Burn, 100 damage. And Magnet Dance draws opponents over. Yeesh, so we wanna um, do a couple things here. I think, um, well, it's a little too late to change our team up now, isn't it? Uh, maybe I should have thought about that. The camera angle's weird here, and why is the camera angle so weird? Um, I can't do team jumps on bosses anyway, so I might as well do it on one of these guys just to get rid of them a little bit more. And maybe just hide Mario back here. Because I wonder how much we can brute force this final boss. I think it's, even though we got a very healing focused team, it's very possible to maybe brute force this because of course we have a healing focused team, but these guys hit hard. These gals hit hard. Guys and gals. Um. There we go, I wanna hit I wanna hit the big guy. Big kahuna. And then Rabbit Peach still hasn't moved, so she can slide tackle a couple guys. She can slide tackle Yoon. Yoon. And you. That's a lot of slide tackling right there. There we go. So that's gonna be like what? 300 damage in total out of slide tackles? Very good. Well, we're gonna get a good start here, I think. And then Peach. Now Peach is gonna be the one who plays things a bit more dangerously here. She can only slide tackle one opponent, but I don't see what the big issue would be for her to go like this. Hit this guy really hard. This is for all the times you've kidnapped her. Hurrah, boom, 395, yeesh. You messed with the wrong princess all these years. She is getting some anger management out on you. And then just smack him. He has to have more than one face. Like I think that's what we're missing here, is that he has more than one face. But well, that's okay, because we got plenty of heal. I didn't think this was gonna be the final team we had here. What are you doing? Um. Okay, so that's how that works, huh? I don't know if we're gonna actually end up hitting him with uh, Peach's uh, royal gaze then. Okay, she is gonna need some heals, but look at this. Bottom of them actually did hit him a little bit. Oof, okay. We got some options here. Peach is gonna really hurt by the end of this, but I think she should just barely be able to survive. Oh, no, 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 no! Ah, oh, she almost survived that. So close. That's just calling for Mario. So sorry. So if we could have done that better, I think we would have been in a very good standing for right now. Because here's the thing. Hypothetically, if we hit, I mean, we can hit him now, and it, can't, can you stop messing with stuff? Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what, what's the best situation here. Um, I guess to hit you normally, pick up some of these coins, even though I may not need them. I, I guess I don't. Hmm. Because here's the thing, I almost have a feeling this is his first phase, so maybe we were a little too uh, overzealous with this. We should take care of some of the goons first. Can't believe you missed that, Mario. That's sort of embarrassing, dude. And then we should have you attack. And then I guess you can't do too much more than that, can you? Yeah, I feel like we got a great first turn before we started ruining things, so finish you off. And then, that's about it. I mean, Mario isn't hurting too much. I'm just gonna get the shield out. And we're gonna end the turn. We'll just see, like, I, I'm really curious. I, I'm gonna bet we're gonna have to restart this. But I wanna see if he does have a first phase or if that's really it. I'd imagine that he has more than just this one phase, right? He's gonna be like uh, the Ice Golem boss that had multiple health bars worth of stuff. Like, he was a multiple phase boss, is what it was. Um, Cause as a... 
Peach here, and we can go like this and blast him good. We go like that and then like this. I don't think she has her uh, sentry available just yet. Oh, she does. All right, well, that's gonna hurt her too, though, is a problem. Well, then, Mario, let's get you over here, just like this. And then we're gonna have Rabbit Peach heal the both of them. Hopefully she's not too far away for that. Okay, she's not, just barely. Do that. Mario, you're gonna go ahead and hit him with your hammer. It'll hurt her a little bit, then maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should be playing it a little bit safer with how risky we did everything before. Boom, 210. So we could, it wanna take him out, so we're not even gonna bother. Boom, okay. So what is he gonna do this turn? I should have just used the hammer. I mean, yeah, it would have hurt her, but without Peach, I think that no matter what, it's gonna be hard to win this. And that's gonna be the turn, right? Or, okay, yeah, it's gonna be the turn. Okay, um, attack, just like that. And let's see, will this get us a win? There's no way that's the f that's not just the first phase. Yeah, he just got healed for a full 69er, so we're probably gonna lose this, but it's a good testing ground, because I needed to test out what he can do, what he's capable of, what are the phases like, oh, he's mad, he's real mad. Um, oh, now we got Pyroclasts, huh? Okay, Pyroclasts aren't that big of a deal. The problem is that he doesn't get affected by them, does he? Because he's a goody two-shoes, to be honest with you. He acts like a big, bad, evil prince. More than that, he's just a spoiled little Bowser. I mean, this, definitely his son is. Like, oh my gosh, nothing but spoiled there. So we can't get healed anytime soon. So if we just make sure that uh, Rabbit Peach is in a safe environment, which she is right now, I'd be impressed to see us take this out with one character missing. Uh, let's do that, boom. And then that's all we could do this turn. Oh, because when we hit him, it took him out, but the turn continued. Interesting. See, he's gonna bounce around different sides of the map. Oh gosh, did that actually hit Mario? Oh yeah, there's a pirate class on top of that box. That's not really cool, is it? Okay, so yeah, we are not winning this time, but that's okay, it's not the end of the world. So how do I wanna do this? I think there's actually quite a few options, but since Mario is where he is, he can slide attack one of them. He could hop off of Peach, Prince, uh, Rabbit Peach. Always do that, always will, I guess, and do that. And that'll be pretty decent. Extra 90 damage, you know, landing off of Yoon. Hmm. Now that's not gonna do anything worthwhile, so we should activate Hero Sight. I think Hero Sight will be good here. And then get Yoon. 168 is okay. Now we can't do too much here, unfortunately. We could hide her somewhere. Maybe here. I mean, I don't know how much Bowser has to get hit before he moves. Like, if we take a look at Bowser really quickly. I mean, I don't think we can hit him from here. We cannot. But he has, okay, we only hurt him for about 210. It ain't a ton. So we can get rid of one of these guys, which might be the best thing. Is just to get one out of the way. So we'll do that. And I could have just attacked, her, attacked this guy with the main blaster and it wouldn't have been a guaranteed takedown, I would have had to land a critical. So I'm glad with what I did. Are you gonna move this turn? So the key just doesn't get hit by hero sight, it seems. I'm pretty sure. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It means that we should definitely save our M power for uh, Bowser and use our hero sight on these enemies. So they're definitely stronger now. And once again, I put him on a pyroclast. I keep you know, forgetting about that. He might actually get taken out this turn then. Depends on who these guys focus on. Who would they focus on besides Mario here? And I don't know if Bowser's attacked yet. Oh, that's everything, okay. So if Mario does uh, get a little closer here, that'd be good because then he can get healed by uh, Rabbit Peach. So let's do that. Boom. It's something. <laughs> Not the best, but it's something. So I definitely have to develop a better strategy here, I feel. Because right now things aren't working out perfectly. Um, we'll do that for now, and then we'll land her like here. And I guess, um, yeah, this is fine, because there's no pirate class around here, and that's good. That's something to want. I don't know if that's hurting Bowser or not. I mean, we should check his health. Is his health any lower than 1390? Um, no, it's still 1390, so that doesn't hurt him. So it doesn't work how Peaches does, which sort of stinks. Um, all heroes are out of sight from 
both of these guys. I forgot to make her hop off Mario, I'm dumb. <laughs> I was like, why do I? Why did I want to do that again? I totally forgot. Well, now Bowser's gonna move over here, for better or for worse. He's gonna make all the pirate class fall. None of them are gonna fall on us. So, um, oh, he's actually gonna hurt his own team members. Though they're extra defended again. <laughs> okay. I guess they can't do too much here. I mean, some of them can attack. It wasn't critical, but it didn't really land too well. I mean. Trying to think about my options here. I don't have a ton of them. I mean, maybe I could move Mario first. It might seem silly to move Mario first, but. I, I, that's really weird. Okay, maybe not. But maybe just have. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? I'm so done with that. I am so done with that. I'm so tempted to restart right now. Uh, I probably should, because I'm not winning this. I don't know. Like, I just wanna see it through, though, so I can get a better, clearer idea of how everything's gonna work here. And get you. And then, I mean, now, uh, yeah, that that's really messed up. That's not what I wanted. That is really not what I wanted. I don't know, like, what more can I, I could've put the shield on Rabbit Peach, but she's gonna take a beating anyways. I don't know, that's just really frustrating, because that's not what I wanted at all. And that happened so much. All right, well, they got hit. We did not know why you did get hit there. Great. Ouch. Um, I mean, honestly, after that first phase, once we take care of some of the minions, they don't hit as hard. Like, I'm surprised with how long these two alone have really lasted here. And I think that maybe we could really do this. Hmm. Then maybe I should, uh. Maybe I should get Rabbit Peach to go over here and slide attack Yoon. And then maybe be about here, because Mario can reach this. If I go here. Yes, he can, okay. So do that. Not enough to take him out, I don't think. I don't know, it's hard to tell. But then I could do this, hop off Rabbit Peach, land about, I guess here's fine. I wish I could land on an enemy, but I cannot, so I will not. Yeah, we gotta increase his team jump range eventually. That'd be helpful. I mean, it's a little too late for that. We're on the final stinking boss, but dreams can be dreams, can't they? Okay, so if, can he power boost? He can power boost. Maybe we should just this turn focus on hurting uh, Bowser here, and Big Bad Bowser. Yeah, just like that. Boom, 294. We hit him so gosh darn hard. Uh, do this. 294 again. I don't know if that's like just the minimum you can hit him for. That seems oddly specific that we hit him 294 twice in a row. All right, well, you're gonna move over here now. I'm glad I put the shield on Rabbit Peach because I have a feeling she might get hurt here. Mario got hurt there. Okay. And this guy's gonna move. Please attack Peach. Yeah, okay, good. Ouch, that hurt. I think we have uh, Rabbit Peach's heal after this, so. That'll be beneficial. So, yep, heal. We should move Rabbit Peach to somewhere better so that Mario can benefit more off of team jumping off of her. Um, It might just be like right in the middle of something. <laughs> From here she can do something at the least. Like maybe that should be our goal when we redo this. Cause he's gotta have more than one. Like he probably has another phase after this too. Is that, um, oh, my phone alarm's going, oh no, phone alarm. I need you not to go off. Okay, so, where's Rabbit Peach at? She used her heal. I think if we do this again, which we probably will, we should just do it so that when it comes to these uh, bucklers, most of the time we'll have like a third person attacking that. But then beyond that, we rely on like true sight and we rely on um, just normal movement basings, the slide dashes and the team jumps to actually hurt them and they'll eventually get taken down if we keep healing each other and we'll be fine. Ooh, so you can hit them like this. So that's gonna be enough to hit him there. Will we actually win this right now? No, we will not. Okay. <laughs> I'll actually be like, wait, what's happening now? Oh, he's mad. This is a mad Bowser. Okay, what are you doing? gonna do? So he's just all shielded up now. Doesn't look like there's any way, I guess, well, I mean, I guess we could hurt him. It's gonna do zero damage guaranteed, so maybe we just have to wait for now. Maybe he's gonna like explode, it's gonna hurt a lot. I'm not sure. 
So what in the world is this thing? Um, hitting it is not gonna do anything except make him mad. So maybe I should put my focuses to just finishing this guy over here off? I mean, my uh, sentry doesn't have that much of a cooldown for Rabbit Peach now, so we could just finish him off that way if we're not comfortable with this, but it might work. Okay, yeah, it did work, lucky for us. So now there's no nobody to worry about but him. So maybe we can move Mario to a safer position farther away sounds better right now, because I honestly think he's about to explode. I don't know, though. <laughs> okay, more enemies are popping up, so it was at least good to keep our distance. Oh, wow! Ten, it would, it said 10,000 damage. I don't know how true that was. And we cool if there were revives in this game. How do we do that? So he was able to get out of his shield, attack us, and then you know, like do all that, and then be able just to uh, hop right back into his shield. Wow. Okay, I, I am a little confused on what we could do there. But that's why I wanted to do this first, so that we don't get super far with the team of three and get destroyed at the end. I need to find out his weaknesses now and then probably reapproach it. So let's get a shield up. Even though that really won't change anything, because she still takes damage. I mean, maybe we should go ahead and try to beat him up like that. He's immune to it. And he's immune to this too, right? And it just doesn't do anything to that shield, so maybe we truly just need to survive it here. Like maybe that just really is the goal. Okay, um. Well then I guess we'll just go back here. And we'll just work with that. Um, enemies are gonna move, of course, Bowser's just gonna do something. Are we supposed to like beat him purely with just like hero sights and everything? Oh wow, he hit an iron block and that knocked him out. Ah, now the answers are becoming more apparent, aren't they? Ouchies. Oh, that's sort of her Bowser a little bit, I think. Oh, you're definitely fired from the Mushroom Kingdom, buddy. Um, so if we got Rabbit Peach somewhere closer, that might be helpful, like here. Now Mario does not have a power boost right now, I do not believe. The only problem is that Mario is actually inked. And I hate everything about this. Um. So Mario, what are you gonna do about this? Um, I wish we could side attack in, but we cannot. Then maybe I could just do that. Go like this. Go like that. And then wait about here. Cause like really, what can we do if if we're inked and we messed it up this way, it's good to have three characters, right? <laughs> okay, get that. Boom. And then we should, I guess we should power boost. Cause that's gonna do the most damage, I think, to everybody. That's gonna hurt Peach a little bit, but I mean, not if we do that, but I don't think that hurts Bowser as much. And we need to get rid of this dude. So I guess we'll do this. All right. Read him weep. Sometimes you gotta take damage to do damage. Even though that was a lot of damage. Okay, I think, yeah, Princess Peach is done for. I don't see how she's not. Unless, oh, oh, okay. These iron blocks are like a lifesaver. They actually, it really does remind me of the Super Mario 64 final boss. Well, okay, now Mario's on his own, so we probably will lose here. But it still was a lot of a learning experience, which I love and we still can't do much because we're still inked. So, our best bet is to run away, but here's the problem, isn't it? Um, we don't really have too, more, too many more places we can hide in this distance. But we learned a lot here, and I think I understand how to do this, but yeah, it's similar to Super Mario 64's final boss because instead of, you know, throwing him into mines across the circular battlefield, instead, oh my, Blast him, does that, out? oh, we're blasting him. Okay, I see. That's good though. And then who are we blasting down? Him again. Okay, well he's honeyed, so at least he's gone. Unfortunately though, I think Mario's done for it. Unless he doesn't do a 202, but he's gonna do a 202. Are you kidding me, Yan? All right, we lost, but we learned a ton there. So now we get to do it again. I think we could do it. Even with this team, there's tons of healing here too, so we just got that bounce back, you know? We just keep going. As long as we get the right positioning. Positioning is so important here. So we're gonna get it done. We can skip this, because we've already seen it. And let's do it to it. I think we can get it done. So with that being said, we wanna focus on the minions first, right? Should I not, I should probably not do a power boost this turn, 
and instead focus more on, on Hero Sight and stuff like that. So we'll get Rabbit Peach over here. She, she might have actually been able to uh, slide attack an additional person there. And I missed out on that opportunity. But we'll have to see. I'm hoping that maybe we could do something like this. Because of course, if we can still hurt Bowser, that would be good. So maybe something like this, or uh, this would be good, right be behind this tall block. And then this should be able to blast at least him and then some. I mean, we could do that or we could do this. It would hurt him too. That might be good. Or we could do a bit of this, even though that would hit a whole lot less targets. If we do this, it does hurt these two. And I think that's pretty good. So we'll try that. Boom. Oh, that did still hurt Bowser. What do you know? Um, We'll get her royal gaze on. And then for you, Mario, Mr. Mario, they say, I'm going to go ahead and top off like this and land you somewhere back here. I think this is actually, let's get you straight across like this. I think there's just more shots he can make from here. All right, we got tons of options, but they're very workable options. Who can we hit guaranteed here? A couple people, but I think I want to focus on you. That way, if that one on the right moves, oh, that's a critical. I was going to say, rabbit, rabbit, just Peach could attack and be able to simply get the um, the uh, royal gaze and take out two of them. And then you haven't moved at all. I totally forgot that you haven't attacked yet. Hmm. Well, I think you should just go for this then. Might as well. And I think we can hold on for a lot longer this time. This time we're playing a lot more, I guess, of a numbers game with everything. And that's really all we can do. Actually, I probably shouldn't have done that, but it doesn't have that long of a cooldown. So Bowser's gonna attack and I'm gonna take a big old swig of water because my voice is coarse. I could be reacting to that because I was insane that I spit out some of my water. Oh wow, that didn't hurt him. Wow, okay. That's gonna hurt him a little bit, but that's not a big deal at all. Okay, great first turn. Of course, Bowser didn't get too hurt there, but he doesn't really need to be. We took good advantage of other things, like um, the hero sights and the royal gazes to the point where that's really our big benefit. Okay, I forgot he had that. That was a mistake of mine. But we could make it work. Oh, but she runs around like a lunatic because she's on fire and her poor hair, and I guess her poor wig. <laughs> Princess Rapid Peach exposed! Critical, nice critical there too. So, what's the best option here? It's just really hard to hit that guy in the back. So we should rubber ducky it. Rubber ducky it like that. Rubber ducky, rubber ducky, boom. And then we should have Mario. Once again, I don't think he's gonna be able to hit that guy in the back. He could finish off this guy, but I think that we can do that in other more simpler ways. So right now we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna have to move Mario. We're gonna move Mario here. So Mario can move there and Peach can move then. So we're gonna move Mario like here. I know it's sort of a silly spot, but I think what we could do, okay, not everything I was expecting to be able to do here, but we could get some stuff done still. Because if I land here, and I, I, it looks like no matter what, I'm gonna miss out on healing somebody. So who needs more heals? Rabid Peach needs more. Actually, Mario hasn't taken any damage, so I guess this is better. It'll heal both Peach and Rabbit Peach, who both needed the heals, making everybody almost back up the full. Then we can defend these two, because they might need it here. And what is the cooldown for that? I'm not gonna be able to see this turn, am I? I guess not. All right then, we're gonna end the turn like that. It's not perfect, and I didn't mess up some of my calculations, especially when that happens. It's a very good thing that I defended the, the princesses. That's good, because he got rid of his own teammate. Bowser don't care. Bowser don't care one bit. Okay. And then you're gonna attack Peach again. Poor Peach, luckily Peach has the best self-healing possibilities. Okay, this is where things can really get going. Because we can really do some major damage to him here. I'm gonna go like that. We're gonna land like over here. So like normally I would activate Rabid Peach's heals at this point, but I'm not going to. And if I do damage boost, it'll it damage boost everybody but Peach, which is not good. So maybe I should just have her attack now. I won't do too much damage, but She's not gonna be able to reach from where I want her to go. I don't think. I mean, I guess I, maybe that was a mistake, but it was still 113 damage, so it's not too bad. He's at down to 125. 
Cause like Rabbit Peach could use this heal, so maybe I should land like, you know what, I'll land here then. That way everybody should be as close to full as we can get them. Which I actually, I th okay no, Peach definitely is still not at full. So, Mario, you should power boost. Peach definitely was gonna be able to land her primary from there, so it was actually good to do what I did. Hit you for 237. If I really wanted to do the most damage, it would definitely be this, so we should do it. Because the cooldown for this really isn't much now. All right, do that. Nice, 395. One, yeah, the cooldown's one turn. So, I might as well get Peach, Rabbit Peach here. I definitely don't want to get Peach and Rabbit Peach confused. Like, I mean, just when I call them their names, it's not gonna get the two characters confused. It's not like it's like looking in a mirror. Oh man, he's so lame. Oh wow, 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 wow. I wasn't expecting him to do that, but he did. Poor Peach can't catch a break. She's trying, but she can't. Okay. Really just, if we want to make things work here, Mario should probably just hammer him. Oh no, he's in the air, so that doesn't count. All right. But that was a good hit there. The, ni the nice, uh, what's it called? The nice, um, critical. Oh, he has a big throne back there. That is menacing. All right, well. Oh gosh, that pyroclast. It's not fair that he gets to throw the pyroclast before we're even ready for where they're gonna fall on. Oh uh, yeah, see, that's so not fair. Cause like, what if we had a character with 20 health that was just pure randomness? I mean, maybe the pyroclast dropped at the same spot every time, but that's still just not really the most fair way to do it. No one. I mean, it's the final boss. I don't think he needs to be fair if he doesn't want to be. So we could heal everybody. It's not the most necessary heal, but hopefully it'll prepare us for the next couple turns. That way, you know, we just don't need that heal. So from now, it's just like, what more can we do? We could get Mario like here. That was actually probably a bit of a mistake because a power class is gonna land right there most likely. And there's gonna be enemies popping up this next turn, I think. So just blast him, do some early damage on him. Might even be, no, nope, not a critical. And we don't wanna do that. I mean, we could do that if we get Peach instead here. And that might be worth it just because there will be guys spawning in the center here, I think. The problem is that they're probably both gonna get hit by that power class because I have the memory of, I don't know, a goldfish, I guess. I don't know, what is the memory of a goldfish? They say it's really low, but I don't know if that's a myth or not. All right, so oh, are they not gonna pop out of the ground this turn? Oh, Mario, bring it to him, 273. Hit him again, do another 273, you can do 222. Not as good, but still, that's still like five, almost 500 damage right there. Pyroclass is gonna rain down and they will hit all of our characters because I'm the king of dinguses. And yeah, these guys will pop up this turn, which means poor, poor Princess Rabbit Beach. Oh no, okay, no, I'm wrong. Okay, I had to you know, take a celebratory slug of water. Slug of water? Glug? I don't know what I was trying to say there. Forgive me. <laughs> Let's uh, figure out what we can do here then. We need to focus on, um, once again, we talked about this before. It's really hard to decide, to be honest. Maybe we could just keep as far away as we can from on uh, Bowser and uh, end up just trying to pack a punch to everybody. Because we could probably take out all these guys in about two turns, depending on our synergy. Not a critical but it's still some decent damage. We should slide attack as many as we can with Rabbit Peach, because she has the, the good damage with this. Get over here, and the problem is that she's not gonna be able to team jump off of anybody, but I guess it's not so crucial with her as a character. I'm trying to find out where, where's the best place for her to hide. I guess here, because then we can take care of this one buckler. And that's better than no bucklers, right? I mean, unless we wanna do this. Hmm. Okay, we should do this and then have Princess Peach use her rubber ducky to take care of the other one. This won't hurt Princess Peach, which is lucky. I didn't really think about it. I mean, I guess it would've shown up. So, Princess Peach hasn't really done too much here. So she could actually, I mean, yeah. We could have her, Team jump over here and heal everybody if she lands here. And this will actually get everybody back to full again. So this super heal strat is working out fairly competently. We got two turns left until we can do with the mega heal though, which is a bit of a problem. This won't hurt Rabbit Peach, but it actually won't hurt him too. So we should just do this. We'll not do the royal gaze because chances are it'll end up hurting our teammates more likely than it'll hurt anybody else. 
I don't know if we need this quite yet, so we'll finish off with this. I don't think we're gonna get too hurt from this angle. We are pretty far away from the action. Cause you're gonna go over there and you might throw some pyroclasts, which I, that one will end on Mario. I just love that spawn. I love getting hit by pyroclasts over and over again. So you're gonna move, you're gonna hit Mario because of it. Yeah, just Mario then. You're gonna move, you're gonna hit Mario as well. But it's at 281, that's not game changing. We can actually make some things work still. Um, so really I think I wanna slide tackle this guy's Mario. Move over here and, oh, I can't reach that? Okay, uh, maybe that's not quite what I wanna do. Maybe I wanna get like Rabbit Peach over here. That should be close enough for sure. So we'll do that. And then we will get Mario and do that strategy again but it's closer now, so it should be good. Oh man, this is one heck of an episode. It's just like crazy boss battles nonstop. I love it, it's fun, but it's also just crazy. So once again, this pyro class, we need to be wary of that. And I don't know if like right here, if this will be clear from it. This should be a lot more clear from it, and we can actually attack some of these guys from behind from here. So it should be the overall better choice. Okay, so we could hit him dead on right now. It's not something I'm going to do, because I'd rather, of course, Get rid of these jerks. So that actually did hit Bowser. Why didn't that work last time? I swear that we were attacking these guys last time and it wouldn't hurt his health. I checked that, I remember checking that. Will this take him out? It will not. But where can we land here? I don't know if he's standing on a pyroclast or not. The art is a little weird. Um, It looks like he is. So actually, I, I, might, I mean, I wanna slide tackle him still, but let's try to land near Marion. Like reasonably near Marion. Like, I guess here, like, might get a bit of a beating from uh, Bowser this way, but Princess Rabbit Peaches, <laughs> I caught myself there, almost made the mistake again. Uh, heal is coming up soon. So for right now, we could just focus on this. Boom. And in the meantime, if we really need to last it, do this. This might be a huge mistake depending on where Bowser moves. We might just, you know, end up smacking Mario right in the face. And then, Really, neither of these guys are we can hit. I mean, we could try it, see if we can't get crazy lucky or something, but it's just not gonna work. Um, so we really should finish it with that. I'm almost regretting the royal gaze. Maybe I should have just done the defensive move. Oh, okay, that did not hit Mario. Very good. Now this might hit Mario. Okay, there we go. So that did do 20 damage to him and to Rabbit Peach. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to take him out. I was hoping it would. Ouch, that hurt. That also hurt. And then you, what are you gonna do? You're gonna hit both of them too. So we're definitely gonna need some heals here soon. Um, okay, we got him. So, heal everybody, this actually heal everybody back up to max, which is great. Wow, we are, like, this healing strat is working out way better than I even thought it would, and I thought it would work out just fine. <laughs> okay, so it's like, it's not worth hiding behind the iron blocks because of the fact that they have all the pyre class behind them, except for this one. Okay, we're on behind this one then. Get rid of you, and you're done. That did not do damage to Bowser that time. It's very picky. It's weirdly picky. I don't understand what the, uh, maybe it doesn't guard against this. What is this damage reduction? It doesn't specify, it doesn't, you know, have a specific type of damage reduction. It's just damage reduction. So I don't know what the issue is there. I think we're gonna have Peach take care of this last buckler. Just like this, it's easy enough. Um, actually will not take him out unless we get like a big crit. Okay. Well, then maybe we could get Mario over. No, not gonna work. All right, well, I did what I could. I'm just gonna blast this guy from here. That was done. There's a Pyroclast in there. Um, hero Sight. And then smack you good. That's actually a critical as well. So when he moves next turn, oh, we have an option here. No, we don't, not really. So we can actually at least finish this off. Boom. That's gonna finish this round. This guy's gonna stick around, unfortunately, I think. He sticks around to the next round. Oh, Mario's gonna hit him again, which is good, because I think he healed himself, so we're getting an early 500 damage before this next wave even starts, which is really, really good, because you know what that means. We don't have to deal with this final wave as much as I thought we would have to, because normally he's at, what, 1600 health? We hit him for about 500, so he's gonna be at 11. He's at 1054. Holy cow. We're done with this, because it's still sort of a continuation of our turn. Which is weird. I mean, I guess it's not. Okay, so he actually, okay, so I see. If he hits an opponent before he hits the iron block, it stops the spin. So we gotta be careful about that. I thought we I thought we wouldn't actually end that this turn. So that's where my uh, mistake was. 
Okay, so we gotta get positioning set up this turn. There are gonna be smashers everywhere no matter what we do. Ow, that hurts. Rabbit Peach is actually starting to get into a bad position now, which worries me. But we can still make this work, I believe. It stinks that Mario is so far away, and I don't really know how to close that gap besides, you know, just sort of inching over. Um, but we will hit who we can. But I think as, oh, she just can't catch a break, can she? I don't want to separate everybody here, but I might have no choice. I mean, I could just get her over here, and yeah, this, but the problem is that if we do that, Bowser is definitely going to tackle her, and that's not gonna be good because we're not gonna be able to get this wave done properly. So we'll get her over here, and we'll actually throw out one of these and throw it super far out to like one of these guys. That way, I mean, no matter what, it's gonna hit this dude, isn't it? Well, this one says how much you wanna bet it's gonna do something awful to me. This one says it will not explode to hit this guy. Let's see if it explodes and hits this guy. I wanna be so done with this game. Okay, I was gonna say, this game lies to me way too much. Um, So, at this position, I think, I'm trying to find out where, what's the best way for Peach to make things work here. Do that. And that'd be good and also bad. Like, where's Mario at? Mario needs to move it. He needs to move it, move it. Um, like he's had his power boost for so long, but it's not worth using just yet. Like if we hit this guy, Oh, he got honeyed. Okay, I was gonna say, he's gonna move closer, and then Bowser's gonna strike him, which would be good. And maybe the same thing will happen here, or not, and we'll be really unlucky. But he is frozen, so at least that's something. Okay. That's all we can do this turn. Um. So you're gonna, oh wow, that was silly. That was really silly, Bowser, what you doing? Okay. Now it's operation, get everybody as close to uh, Mario as possible. Oof, oof, that hurt. That did not feel nice. That was a big bunch of bone hurting right there. His bones are hurt, or her bones are hurt. That was a, uh, wow, okay, so what can I even do here? I don't think I could get everybody close enough. Like, here's the thing. Um, if I go back here and, and get to Mario, Okay, so they can overlap, which is good. I need to move Rabbit Peach first, though. Because 814, could we do 814 damage in this turn? That's the big Q that we need an A for. Unfortunately, I just don't see a way to get Peach over here. And unfortunately, right now, Rabbit Peach can't do anything more until I uh, do this. Do that. Have Mario hide like here, I think is the best place. Luckily the pirate class disappeared for this, which is great. Thank you pirate class for not being here. So do that, that way, boom, you're cleared. Yeah, but Rabbit Peach has to wait one more turn, which means she's probably not gonna get her heal out. So is there any way, and I mean any way, there's not. So she just needs to play keep away. She needs to play keep away and maybe chuck some ducks. Not at these guys, I can tell you that much. Well, then she ain't chucking ducks. Unless, can they just walk over if the camera can actually work with me here? They can't, so she's just unfortunately gonna have to be the getaway princess like she's used to being. Mario can't use his hammer from here, which is a shame. But we're gonna wad up this guy as hard as we can. What's this gonna be? Boom, it's gonna be a 294. It could've been better, could've been worse. I'm gonna hit you again. So this is not gonna be a perfect, but it's a 294 again. So close to being a perfect then. And the turn, because I don't want to attack those guys. Because there's no way they're not going to attack Rapid Peach, and that also means he's going to get a strike. So he's not going to have to shield up this turn. Or he just didn't bother with it at all? Okay, that's the first time I've seen him do that cycle of movements. Weird. Very weird. A concerning amount of weird. Um. All right, Peach. You got to keep moving. Because right now, we're sort of sitting ducks until either these two can regroup. Man, we were so close to getting it done just about perfectly. Um, Like, Mario might get hurt here. And it won't be enough to take him out, though. Hmm. Bowser always moves before the Smashers move. So this might get it for us. Oh, gosh, I'm dropping my... 
Switch controller. Come on down. Come on, Bowser, buddy. Come on. Boom. Okay, that so that didn't really do anything, but okay, this is, okay, that, that could have been worse, could have been worse. Blast him, please, honey. It was not honey, but it took him out. Thank goodness. Okay, we could win right here. Don't hit him. Okay, don't hit her. Some. Would you like a hammer, sir? Because I have a hammer with Bowser's name on it. Oh, we got him. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Okay, so where's this thing going? It ain't going nowhere. It's falling. Oh, no, no, it's just mad. Okay. Oh, Luigi, run. Oh, we got the whole gang here now. <laughs> yeah, you better run. Oh, where are you going? Yet, yeah, don't mess with the gang. You never mess with the squad. All he wanted was a friend, or at least that's what it looked like. He looked upset there. Everybody blast him! Wow. Down goes the dragon. I guess the mecha dragon. And he explodes. Okay. Is that it? Did we win? Oh no. Spawny. Are you okay, buddy? <laughs> How gentle. Aww. So cute. Uh, I guess I owe you guys a debt of gratitude or whatever. I just hope this has taught you a lesson. Of course not. Taught us all a lesson, really. We ought not to meddle with powerful forces beyond our understanding. Huh? Uh-oh. Look, I can't promise that I'll be good forever, but I'll try. You did kind of free my dad from a big scary dragon thing. Speaking of which, how's he doing? <sighs> Guess I'll have to take my lumps when he wakes up. Yeah. Unless you want to take the fall for me. I mean, he already hates Mario, so <laughs> Mario with that discerning look like, I'll be your dad if Bowser won't. I'll show you a punishment. A tempting after. <laughs> uh, alas, we must return to Princess Peach's castle to let everyone know that the threat to the Mushroom Kingdom has passed. Look at our gang right now. This is awesome. I'm glad that everybody got the king together for this last cutscene. Even Spawny's happy. Oh, yeah, well, until next time. Probably the next Mario Party, that'd be nice. Battle cleared, we did fair seven turns, wow. So yeah, we weren't gonna perfect that anyways. We were a couple turns off, but we did it! Fair, unfair, perfect, not perfect. We beat the final boss! Oh, oh, we got a final cutscene! So the entire Mushroom Kingdom seems nice and happy now. Huh? Um, what's up? Oh, oh yeah, we never unveiled this. <laughs> Oh, what a statue. Um, <laughs> she loves it, that's great. Oh, they're getting the selfie together. Yay, everybody's happy. That's all I wanted, everybody to be happy. So there we go, we completed Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. So there was a look back at every single boss fight in Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Like I said before, if you are excited for more content, not only check out the full series where I completed the game 100%, but stay tuned. We'll be doing an all boss fight video on the DLC, the Donkey Kong Adventure, as well as a full series on the brand new Mario and Rabbit scheme, Sparks of Hope, when it releases on October 20th. I simply can't wait to play it. It is going to be a ton of fun. But for right now, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.